playlist is such a vibe <laughs> hello good evening everyone good morning afternoon whatever it might be <laughs> time zones i am in the mod jog mines tenfold i have been playing this for most of today i wasn't able to sleep and i was just playing this literally like all day <laughs> you can ask crystal here hello crystal <laughs> I have been playing this a lot today, trying to gradually get better. And I actually ended up gotcha-ing like three characters. I got this guy, I got this girl, and I got this guy. And so far, she has increased my odds with her fortune teller powers. Have you still been playing? No, I took a little bit of a nap. I was able to sleep for like a little bit. And realistically, I probably could have slept sleeping, but I still I still got I still got stream, so I woke up. I probably slept like two hours, maybe. That's about all the time I had to to actually sleep, so I am like still in the process of just being existing. But you know, that's that's become my habit so far is I basically wake up within an hour before stream and just kind of exist. So <laughs> here I am. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some more ranked matches. Why am I having a ping in friendly? Oh, you're just trying to get me to play these modes? What even are these modes? Chi is not allowed. North wind can be melded. It's fun little custom modes. There is no Richi Chi Fuditen one by oh, okay. Battle of Darkness, Battle of Astra. Richi Chi Fuditen one by Concealed is achieved. Take 2,000 points from every active Jian Shi. Ah, uh, these are interesting. All right, fair enough. I also don't know why. Wait, why are you picking me for tournaments, too? Battle of Incarnation. Oh, yeah, there's, like, so, like, certain rooms that you participate in. There's, like, a there's like an entry fee, right? So, like, if you are in, I guess, any lobby, I think, above bronze... It costs like copper. Not that this is a lot of copper to get in there and you get a lot of copper, but it costs you copper to be in the matches. And apparently if you're God tier at this game and you play at like the saint level, um, it's I don't know if it's courtesy or if it's an actual rule in the game, but you're supposed to stream with a delay, I guess, just to kind of offset any type of like cheating because any um, anyone who's like in these upper matches, you can actually just, like, spectate them. And so I guess, like, you could probably figure out that they are live. And they could cheat by looking at what tiles you have in your hand. But I'm like, I don't think a five-second, like, timer would help. Because if you're, like, good enough to be in the Saint and Master area, I feel like you can kind of understand what the person's going for just from seeing their hand. So even if you can't react to what they're doing in that exact second you could probably just infer and go from there but i don't know i've been i've been messing around with um the three player mode a little bit just because it seems to be a little bit quicker than going through a full four person one especially with you know um having that one person that's not your turn but then at the same time <laughs> it's like it's harder because i feel like the the people who play Replayer, like they almost always have skins, man, and they always have like all this playtime. Like I, I don't know, man. It's just, <laughs> it's like the people are even more cracked here. Thank you for the stretch and posture check. I appreciate that armors. Thank you. Like this person over here is adept. This person's my my rank basically, but this person's like a tier above. Uh, I'll do that, sure. But uh. Yeah, I don't know. It just it's it's difficult because like the the bronze room in this game is basically the equivalent of two tiers. So it's like having all bronze and all silver players in the same room. As opposed to just having all the bronzes together, all the silvers together. Um, and apparently the. Um, as a quote-unquote like silver player as an adept player you can 
choose to be in whichever lobby. So you can be in the bronze room or the silver room. And so it seems that people are more obviously inclined to be in the bronze room because guess what they'll probably win more going up against like newer players or less skilled players than they would being in a bracket of primarily their peers or the tier above them because then obviously their bra bracket will include the quote-unquote gold level players so it's 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 a it's a way of doing it it's definitely a way of doing it um but I guess, you know, in this kind of game where it's, you know, it's a board game, there's a lot of, like, chance to it, a lot of, like, variance and skill level, I guess it's not the worst thing. It would be different if you put, like, bronze and gold players together in Overwatch or something like that versus, you know, putting people in Mahjong, I guess. But uh, st I still think it's kind of a weird choice to allow people to play with people outside of their bracket in these so-called ranked matches, but... I don't know. It's, it's again, I repeat, it's a choice. I also don't currently have a win condition set, so that's kind of unfortunate. I've also never seen this character before, but then again, there's like, there's really like 60 women and like 19 guys. So <laughs> there's, there's a chance I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see something going on, you know? But we'll we'll see. Pizza that. Uh I'll get rid of that. Ooh, she's she if she hits one of us, it's gonna hurt. She's she's stocking up that them points. Which we only have five more tiles in the pot right now. But I'm assuming she has ten pie right now. So she might actually be able to do something. I'm playing it safe by getting rid of tiles that I already know are in this uh, in this pool. Because obviously she did not need it, and therefore she's not going to nuke me. We all had Tenpai? Okay. So no one gains or loses any points. And we go into a uh, repeat encounter. So we don't move on to the next round, we just kind of repeat that, that, uh, that table, I guess. This is a disgusting hand, and I don't like it. Kita. Uh, we'll get rid of the white tile. Right now, it's prevalent in the east wind, apparently. And I'm sitting in the west. So, like, something, one thing I learned. Yo, 35 streak, let's go. That's actually crazy. <laughs> I appreciate you so much for the support. That is, that, that right there is something that's, like, so flattering like on the same level as somebody just dropping like subs or something like that's just fucking crazy to me they put up with me for 35 consecutive days like that's crazy you put up with my madness um but yeah so i i that's this is one thing so like mahjong yeah that's what i called yeah <laughs> um yeah uh, sippy sippies um so like where you sit in the mahjong table actually allows you to have like a point advantage if you use tiles of that similar thing. So if I had all the west tiles, I could actually get extra points for placing them. Um while um you know, she could benefit from east and she could benefit from the uh, south. On top of that, the table's prevalent wind is on east. And so she could kind of get like extra extra points. Um, because she could go with all the East tiles and also be within the prevalence of e the East Wind. I sometimes play this game with my grandmother. It's a, it's a really fun game. I only actually learned how to play it, um, after years of being like, oh my god, that's gonna be like 20, right? Oh, 30. Damn. Yeah, we're both getting kicked real good there. Um... Yeah, she was sit she was sitting on that. That was gonna that was gonna hurt the moment she did it. I'm just glad that was a sumo and we both got hit and it wasn't a Ron and we like like I just got nuked or something. I would have cried. Um But uh Yeah, I only got into this actually relatively recently because I was always very intimidated by this game. And so it was only within the past couple of years that I decided to actually learn it. And the actual motivation was actually because at the time Final Fantasy XIV had introduced a 
a Mahjong mode and I was like, oh, I'm going to become like the best Mahjong player on the game. And I learned how to play and then like never did it. I, I like only ever played here on Mahjong Soul. Um, I mean, I did play a bit on 14, but like not enough people play it and I'm too impatient to sit in a queue or however long that might be just to get my ass kicked by the people who are patient enough to sit in a 20 minute queue for Final Fantasy 14 Mahjong. So I'm just like, yeah, I just stick on this game. I've played very casually. I'll come and play a match here and there. But I kind of want to actually like commit more to playing more now and learning more now. So I've been actually taking it upon myself to um, to kind of study and research different wind conditions every day. So I like try to learn at least like um, I try to at least learn like four or five Yaku a day kind of thing and, and try to get that into my head and then I try to implement and practice it um, going into the next match. And there's there's a round win. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a really fun game. I think it's a it's a really good example of a game that has a it's easy to get into, but then it's hard to master. So someone someone can really learn how to get really good at this game and be on a completely different level, but they can learn it in like a day. Like you can learn this game in a day and play it. Are you going to be using one or two Yaku? Yeah, probably. But you'll know how to play. Right? I honestly think getting into chess is harder than this game, but then I think that mastering this game is either on par or harder than chess. It depends. Like of course it's talking about like the the peak, the peak of skill. Um but I I really enjoy it. It's a really fun game. I and it's nice I get to like turn my brain off a bit. I mean not really. I guess I am more thinking more in this game than I would be in let's say something like Hunt, but cuz that's a lot more reactionary. This is a little bit more planning, but yeah, I guess. Um I'll get rid of this style. Hey, let's go. Streaks too many too many streams, so much mahjong. Yes, all the mahjong. Absolutely. I love mahjong. I've been see it and the thing is, is I've been wanting to stream it, but between like a bunch of you who were like, I'm gonna redeem a mahjong stream thing that redeem. I didn't want the like the effort going into re like redeeming the mahjong stream. I didn't want the effort of going into that to be kind of diminished by me just being like, oh, I'm going to stream Mahjong. So I wanted to at least wait until you guys redeemed it once. And then now it kind of acts like a, um, I'm playing a game, you guys want to see Mahjong, and I kind of drop whatever game I'm playing and transition over to Mahjong rather than like being like the first time I ever play it for you guys. And like we can have games where I teach you guys how to play or whatever and stuff like that too. Um, my brain is a little too small to be sitting here talking to you guys normally and teaching you guys how to play this and be playing the game. I can give little things here and there, but my brain will short circuit a bit. But if I'm playing like with you guys, at first put, you had my curiosity, to, uh, <laughs> but now you have my that. erection. <laughs> but how does it feel about you? I don't know. I think it hates me. The tiles, yes, I love the tiles. And thank you for the follow, uh, Mahjong Jen. Welcome in. I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> getting messed up there. Yeah. Mm, mm. You know what? Valid. I hit her pretty hard, now she got me back. That was painful. Uh, I'll get rid of this, uh, this montile because it's not doing much for me. How you doing, Fernie? Welcome in. Oh, uh, man, this hand is ass. I guess I gotta go for, like, I guess this is a simples hand, I guess. I don't know, man. It's rough. This is rough. This isn't as bad as the hand I had, like, two turns ago, though. That hand was... Absolutely cursed. That hand was cursed. But this one, I can work with this one at the very least. Um, get rid of the aid here. 
<laughs> Thank you for the pets. I actually forgot to open... Uh, whatchamacallit? Yes, program that. Let me, uh... I don't have a Yaku right now. Uh, let me, let me open that properly there. I am doing things! Oh my god, this is hard. Please. I know I don't have any Yaku. I know, I'm being distracted. Let me open up, uh, mix it up. Okay, sorry. I messed up my hand, but it's okay. It's alright, I'm only crying moderately. I need to salvage this, but okay, my... Wesker versus Nemesis? What about Wesker versus Nemesis? What about it? Can I even... Yeah, there's still two tiles of the white. Okay. Uh, we'll try to get a four. I need a four so tile. Um, in 27 tiles and hopefully not getting, never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, Crystal, you're such a good girl. <laughs> Thank you for the, the streak. <laughs> oh my God. I can't tell if you're winning or not. I had a I had an I had a Yaku at the point. Um I could have won, but then this person smacked that person, so it did not matter. It did not matter at all. And right now this hand's kind of buns. I I could the best option to go here is probably pairs, but I am not going to do that because I I'm too lazy. But I could have gone for all pairs with this hand because I had a good couple sets of them. Um, but eh. Eh. Have you been picking up anything, Crystal, with watching both the stream and watching me play earlier in Discord? Like, do you understand anything you've been watching? No. <laughs> we could uh yeah, we could uh Play a bit. The the easiest way I think to play mahjong is going for what is known as Richi. Um, so there is a so basically you're trying to create pairs and sequences and combination of those pairs and sequences, right? And there if so if you have if you achieve victory completely from your hand without ever um, using anybody else's tile, that's called having a closed hand. If you use someone else's tiles, like I have these fours over here in this corner, which you can, can't see behind my fat ass, um, those I've borrowed, so now I have an open hand, right? But the easiest win condition is if you never use anyone else's tiles, and um, you just try to have uh, four trios and a pair, and that's of any, of any sequence. So every one is kind of like, every single tile is kind of like a, a value of like one, two, three, or whatever, or they're just matching faces, essentially. And so if you try to go for those, that pairing, that's like the easiest way to win. And that's the very basic thing is learning Ricci or all symbols is just literally going and doing those four like sequences and then a pair. Um, you can also achieve that with having multiple pairs. So like all, almost all of your uh, tiles being pairs. Um, yeah, there you go. Pairs are sets. There's different types of tiles and numbers. Yep, exactly. Yep. So you have like... Um, uh, you have like these are these are all different types so um these here these ones that have w's on it these are these are wind tiles specifically the west wind tiles these are so tiles these like green ones and then these with the circles are known as pin tiles right and then um i don't know like this one here that's a mon tile and so those are the different faces <clears throat> and so like playing on its own getting the sequences of like the trios or the um or the pairs that's the very easy part of the game then it starts becoming hard when you're trying to learn how to um to score the most points because then that's when you get like complicated circumstances involved at that point have you seen a movie called as above so below yeah you mentioned that in the server yeah i've seen that it's one of my favorite horror movies if you're talking about the same one I'm talking about with people going into the French catacombs. Um, and then, uh, ooh, Kita. See, I, it's like, I, at this point, if I, if I like score, I'm, I'm still going to get third place in this. 
I don't know, it's pain. Um, I might play, f like, fours, just so I have a little bit more time. This person rage quit or something. They disconnected. Um, but, uh, your seats also reflect point values. Um, so, like, being sitting on the east here, I'm sitting on the east, um, as the number, like, the letter faces me, right? And then this person sitting west, this person sitting south, and we were, we were playing four people. We'd be playing in the north, right? Um... And so they're always in East, West, South, and three players. There's never a North player. And so there's an added mechanic in um, the three people Mahjong where you can actually go and um, place your all your North tiles, since there's no one that can benefit from the North tiles, to get kind of bonus points when you actually close out a victory. Um, but if I use all East tiles while sitting here, I get a bonus because I'm using basically the thing that's prevalent to the position I'm sitting. But also this red means that it is like the prevalent wind for this entire match, right? And so then I get another bonus for being for using the prevalent wind. Um, not that I probably have any opportunity at this point to try to pull a win out of my ass, but you know, could happen. Because right now I am fishing for one singular tile. I need a seven so. So I need a seven green tile to win. If one of these guys places it, or if I draw it to my hand, I can nuke everybody. Um, but what's more likely going to happen is, is I'm going to get decimated by this woman here who just went into Ricci, which is basically her, her declaring that she only needs one tile to win. And if we place the tile that she needs, then simply she wins. And that, that's it. Um, and so it's like a race against time. Um, which is horrifying. Yeah, I don't really get uh, get it. They go into the catacombs, but they went somewhere. All right, so we both got Tempai, so we're going to eat points from her, right? We're both going to eat points. And then I lose. <laughs> so actually, oh wait, no, we got one more round. That's all right, we're good. We're good. Wait, I can maybe pull this around, maybe. I just want to nuke this now bot, because she's gone now. She rage quit. She, she gave up. They went, into, they went into hell. That's what happened in that movie. The, the, the whole point of as above, so below is that the catacombs are basically a portal to hell or the opposite side, I guess, of the world. And so they went into the catacombs and ended up in hell. And that's, that's, that's what ends up happening. And that's why everything starts getting weird the closer they get to hell. Um, yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. Um, how do you win this game? Uh, like I said, it's... Um, you're trying to get uh, four four sequences, uh, trios, and a pair. Is in general that's the easiest way I can explain this. You're trying to complete a sequence, and that's how you can declare a victory, right? But there are certain ways you can get around that. So like right there is a win because I'm using their tile to complete a sequence. I'm only gonna get like two k, yeah. So it's not gonna matter much. Um, I'm still gonna just die here, but. Um, and then your points are allocated based upon, like, how, what, what contributes to that victory. So, like, matching them. Yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah, more or less, yeah. Yeah. So, like, how in my hand right now I have, like, you know, actually right now is a horrible example with this hand that I have. But, um, you know, if I had one, two, three of this one, and five, six, seven of this one, and... You know, five, five, five of this one, nine, nine, nine of that one. That would be the contributing factors to a victory. Hey, Nohi, how you doing? Welcome in. <laughs> oh, gee, it's no, no, he. Yes, the one of unforgettable flatulence. Ah, shit, man. I don't know what I want to do with this hand. This hand. I screwed it up. And she's in she's in a she's in a win condition now. So all she needs is one tile. She's fishing for some tile right now. Um and then she wins. Which I'm gonna get rid of this south tile, just because there's two already down. I can only get one more, which means it's probably not gonna help me. And uh she won't you know, need it, so she's not gonna go for me. Yeah, but now that she got the bot. So she's gonna win this. 
And unless she nukes her for a metric like ton, I'm gonna finish in last. Yeah, I'm still last. But um Last played Overwatch 2. I'm such a huge fan, she says. Is that the famous uh, VTuber Nohi who's rebranding re on, I think, March 7th? That's crazy. That's insane. New design, re-debut. Only like a week away. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> we'll try another three, three player East. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I feel like the people who play in three player East are cr like cracked worse than like, like as in better players than the ones in four player. Oh God. And they both have default skins. I'm dead. <laughs> when you don't care about cosmetics in this game, you're usually God. Which to be fair, if I didn't have a cosmetic, I wouldn't be using it, but I still don't think I'd be playing as her just because she's literally the default. I'd probably be pay playing as big booby lady. Cause at least she's like another option. This person's really thinking about their hands, which is, is smart. I should really think about my hands more. It's just so stressful when you go first because you only really have a couple seconds to choose your turn before you start eating in your reserve time. And I'm like, I don't want to eat my reserve time. Can I show my art on the art share? Yes, as long as it's appropriate. Uh, no not safe for work art, but you're allowed to share whatever else you uh, you create. It's a it's an 18 plus server, but once you start distinguishing uh, pornography from things, then uh, it starts uh, getting a little, a little messy in there. So just safe for work stuff, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you can share you can share it in there. The art share one is for the general public, and then the Hifumi arts, uh, specifically art around me and whatnot. Ita. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this too. Who ordered all this fucking anime titty? Man, this time again, I I don't know who ordered the titties, man. I'm never opposed to them being around, but like you know, it wasn't me this time. I'm innocent this time. <laughs> I mean, anime titties are okay. That's not not safe for work per se. I mean, I I guess if you include nipple, then it is. I don't know. I don't know what the distinction is of one that's not safe for work. But uh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day they'll be like a not safe for work channel or something like that that people could share their stuff with because I ne definitely know a lot of not safe for work artists. Um, but there's a whole like vetting and making sure it's hard enough now to make sure that everybody's in the server is even adult to begin with. I've already had to cook, kick like a couple uh minors, so it's just trying to keep a safe place for everybody. I have to go. It was nice catching up on your stream night. Have a good night, Mr. J. All right, that's 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 one win. That's one win. Let's let's keep the trend going. One 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 two. Ah, uh, I'll get rid of my eight pin, I guess. Maybe. Well, it depends on what I draw, or what they play. Which this person thinks. This person actually thinks. I do wish this game gave you a little bit more base time. I think it is pretty rough that the game like expects you to kind of like process your hand, especially in the very first round within only a couple seconds. Like I hate going first in this game because um, it is it is a lot. It is a lot to try to figure out what your hand is, how you're going to build your, your hand from that point and then be going in what, five seconds. That's pretty rough. At least from the perspective of like, I guess, like a bronze Elo player, Ron's room. Maybe that's not the case for somebody who has um, thousands of hours in this game, but I do not have thousands. Definitely not. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. I still need to fix that to, to be um, just my solo. Because that like looks weird sometimes. It looks like... It looks nice if you have it in the resolution that like the perfect resolution, but and otherwise it gets like cut off and overlaps or the lines break and they're not actually borders around that uh, social link. Let me just make it my, my, my solo. 
which surprisingly gets a lot of visits and i'm not sure if it's from people clicking on it on my existing profiles or if it's from people clicking on it like finding it through like search engine which if they're finding it through like a search engine that's that's even crazier because that means either people are looking for me or um or just like my my like seo is working well which even then i'm like that's pretty interesting to me if people are just like <laughs> googling like websites of vtubers or something i don't know but you know so she passed up to first she passed me but she took all the points from her this is all last so unless certain con uh situations are met this is the last turn of the round um I guess one, two, three. I have a double five, six, seven, nine. I could go for an eight, seven, nine. I could go for a double five as my pair. Um, I'm not going to though. I'm gonna get rid of this five. I'm gonna keep this tile because this is worth uh, extra points. Um, I would love to get use out of this five so tile, but I don't know if I'm going to. I do. It's nice here that I do have um. The dragon tile set up in case I end up using Honor Chi. Um, well, there's the there's the eight I would have needed. Um, I'll get rid of my east wind, I guess. Um, we'll pawn the white. Go for get rid of my dragon tile, I guess. I don't need both of these seven, so we'll get rid of that. Now we have a double five. We have a one, two, three, five, six, seven. We don't need the nine anymore. Um. Uh, this can go a lot of ways. I think we're. I think we're fine. I think we're good. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of this dragon tile. I might regret it. Kind of already regret it. Yep, look at that. I would have had a nice pair of that. That's unfortunate. And someone else is sitting on them too, because they just had the opportunity to uh, take action against me there. They could have gone offensive. Nope, this person, yep, is still thinking about something. Uh, I guess I'll do that, and then now I just gotta wait for a four uh, of the so tiles, and I win, like that. A couple points, enough to secure my lead for this, right? Does it does it end there? Yeah, it ends there. We win. I wasn't sure if that was a condition to extend that. We're good. Oh, I don't know why. I just like went exorcism on the screen, but yeah, fine. <laughs> oh my god. All right, very nice. And I got promoted. Novice three in the three lobbies because there's a separate distinction between the uh, the four player and three players. So like my rank in both is now the same. Very nice. Very very nice. Thank you for the headpad, Sarah. How you doing? I hope well. That is some booba. That is some booba for sure. Um. Yikes. I get rid of that. I could, you know, this one is kind of irrelevant because if I get a two, three, four, it'll mean basically nothing. I'm going to go for, hmm, this is, uh, actually, actually, okay, okay, all right. Uh, I'll get rid of the south tile here. East wind's prevalent, so if I can get the, if I can get an all set of, East. That would be nice. She has our first kita. 
Um, let's see. Oh, there's east. Nice. Um, we get rid of one of my nines. A seven, eight, nine sequence here. I can get rid of this seven. I can get a two for this tile. Actually, that works okay too. There's still two other ones of this face of the pin. Oh, there would have been there would have been the one, two, three, but that's okay. Depending on what I draw, I'll get rid of a seven this turn. No, I can get rid of it. that tile itself there because I don't need it. And what is she gonna play? She's getting rid of all so tiles, so that means that she probably doesn't need any so at all. Um, I'm gonna get rid of a seven here. Uh, because if I can get a five here, I can complete a sequence with the five. If I get a two here, I can complete a sequence with the with that. Uh, I can get that one actually out of the way. And uh, let's just get rid of the six. I might get messed up here. No. Um. Is one particular tile I need because there's no more there's no more fives in the pod, so I need a two two so to be placed down. Which the odds of that being placed are low. The only person who would probably play it is her. She's already discarded two of the so's, so that means she's not gonna want it. If she has it, she's not going to want it. But she also knows that we're probably trying to get them, given the fact that they have all these, like, so tiles, and I'm not placing too many. So if they're smart, they're not going to place it. And they're going to use it as a duo, because they don't want to be catapulted off of, like, they don't want to be the reason that we win. But I don't know if people in this bracket are thinking that far ahead. I know I don't have the time, so I can't expect that of other people, but we'll see. Oh, never mind. She did it. She did it. Yeah, if I was her, I wouldn't have played that. Looking at the board and seeing what all of us are doing. Um, she had already put down a lot of so, which means that we were probably betting for it. And that was a really risky play to place a tile that could be potentially desired. How you doing, Sarah? So I'm in the east seat right now, and that means that I am in the preferred seat, and the, it's also the prevalent win. So if I can get a set of east, that'll be extra points for me. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out for the possibility of that. Um, I'm doing all right, a little sleepy. Absolutely relatable. Just plugging a pawn. Are you? You're thinking about it. That or you looked away from your phone for two seconds. You gonna do it? Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's gonna skip your turn. You're wasting your time. Uh, four, five, six. I'm gonna get rid of the double of the six unless I get something uh, absolutely doo doo water here. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't need that. I will take that though to complete that sequence. And I'll get rid of this eight. Because I'd rather go for a 4 or a 7 for this. Um, I'd also love a 6 pin. That'd be nice. Or 3. That's not what I asked for, but that's fine. No one's placed any East yet. I don't know if they're going for Prevalent Wind or they just haven't happened to come across an East tile yet. Um, this is actually kind of nice. I'm going to get rid of my, my uh, Dragon Tile here. My White Dragon Tile. On. Uh, I don't need the nine. And the seven I do need. I'll get rid of my green dragon tile. Because there's already two on the board, and I'm not gonna do much with having one. Um I mean it could be my my foundational pair, but um I don't care. 
I don't need that either because I already have this completed and that. Someone's debating on doing something. Probably her again because she's really a thinker. Um, uh, that's kind of nice, so maybe I won't go for Prevalent Wind. Um. Um. Oh crap! Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I need my pair to be these cells. Damn, I'm not in the actually good position. Can it just, like, not be my turn? That'd be really cool. I don't want to get hit with a run. Yeah, can I even get this? I can. But then... I... Unlikely. Ah, oh, if I had... If I stole my green dragon tile... Upon that... I'll get rid of the four. I'm in food with ten now. I can only win from things in my hand, and there's none of these left. So I'm I'm kind of screwed at the moment. All I can really do at this second is try to um to tiptoe around getting hit with a direct attack from any of them. It's probably the best I can try to do right now. Um, I can't do anything with this tile. Yeah, that's all I could do. She gets she gets two thousand points for having the only ten pie, and she takes it evenly from the both of us. I'm still in first. Um, and this goes in all last now. So if I can if I can secure my win in this match, it's it's mine. Um, we'll see. I keep getting, like, singular montiles, and I'm not sure why I keep only getting one. I almost never actually have, like, I, I have always have, like, an abundance of pin tiles, but I never, I never have montiles. I don't know. The game's just, like, you're always going to be, like, a pin and sew tile user for some reason. Like, you filthy casual. You're just getting, you're just getting these. You're not allowed to use the other tiles. I feel like there's there's my second montile. Um, I'll get rid of this nine. We'll try to go for a a three here and a six here. We'll see if we can get one of those off these guys. It's a white tile. It was back to her turn since she declared something. Um, that's. Kind of okay, so we'll get rid of this. Thing is, is I need a duplicate of one of these two now. This is actually kind of nice, because I get to remove a tile from the pot because I drew North Wind. That's kind of nice. Uh, she has the other three white, wind, uh, white uh, dragon tiles. And I can get rid of this seven. I know it's a safe tile. Well, actually, it could have been unsafe, but the odds of it being an unsafe tile were fewer than a lot of the other ones in my hand. If I can get a dupe of one of these in my hand, that would be very cool. That would be very, very cool. But we will see. Uh, no. I need to either complete one of these two so that I can go for a pair. Never mind. Just nuking her. Yeah, three, 3k. That puts her in first. Damn. Pain. But it does extend the game, so hey, I got an actual pair in the Mon tiles for once. All I had to do was complain. That's all that had to happen. I didn't mean to get rid of that tile. I meant to click this one, but it shifted over, and that made me click that. So I guess we're getting rid of <laughs> the red dragon tiles, I guess. 
because uh, I got too eager with that click. I wish that this game was on Steam in North America. I think it is in China or Japan or both. It's not on Steam in North America. I could like trick my Steam into thinking otherwise, but like that's just that's effort. That's effort for that. And I'd be fine if the game was in Japanese, but I'd be screwed if it was in Chinese because I would not be able to read that at all. Um, but you know, mm, I go to this eight, five, six, seven sequence. If I can get another seven, I can go for seven, eight, nine there. I have no Yaku. I know. I know. I know. And that's fine. If I can get another East Wind, that can change though. And then we fish for a different sequence, but this is a lot of ifs. And we're already like down to 20 some tiles. So ifs are not exactly the most favorable results at the moment. We'll see. My headphones are deciding to die. I wouldn't be much help. All I know is how to one sec. Is how to find words in Chinese dictionary, but I'd need the characters. Yeah, and I don't think pulling out a Chinese dictionary while, you know, trying to read a wall of text during an event is uh gonna be a timely manner. I need an E style, which I don't think any of them are gonna play into. And then I would still need to get another pair. And we only have five tiles in the pot. So this is not looking good for me. This person might win with 200 points. 200 point lead. Unless she comes in and runs. Um, man. The only, actually, what I should have done with that situation is I should have gotten rid of a 9. It wouldn't have mattered because she still ended up getting a sumo there. But, yeah, and she's gonna hold, like, stronghold the lead now. Yeah. But, uh, I should have gotten rid of my 9 there. Um, because then I would have been in Fuditen, which would mean that I can only win by drawing into my own hand. Which is fine. Especially at that phase when I probably wasn't going to have the odds of drawing something from my hand and they were going to be very stingy with their tiles. Um, but the odds would have been better in my favor if I was just trying to draw one of those last two East tiles rather than trying to complete a whole new set. So that's like kind of like a could have should, I guess. Not that it <laughs> would have changed anything, but if I was looking at myself... Uh, in hindsight there, that would be the smarter thing to do. I suppose you could say. Okay. This is... Uh, I don't like going first, but I already see my hand and understand it. So that's fine. Sorry about the flickering. I If I alt-tab while I'm like streaming this game it does not like that <laughs> it kind of acts like i have it in full like my uh, browser in full screen so it kind of goes like the whole like capturing a full screen game kind of thing hey at least you know now should you be in that situation again foo -foo? yeah also wow this is the first time i've seen someone with this skin and it's the same one as me we're twinning, but I bet you these this guy's like adept, right? Yeah, he's freaking adept. And I'm here like I'm baby. I'm a little baby. <laughs> I need I need another E style. Someone needs to play an E style for me, please. Please. Or draw it into it. I don't need a West. It would be so good. I'm sitting east. It's prevalent east. Give me an east. And realistically, that's the tile that people are going to hold on to because they don't want anyone else to have it. And they they too might be building for those two east tiles and hoping that I place one of my east tiles. 
So it's kind of a uh, thing. Hi, baby Gaga. Ba ba ba. Hi, ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Shouldn't do that. People are into that. <laughs> Make it creepy as hell, man. Uh, there we go. There's East. Um, we'll try to get it too. So maybe they gotta play into it. Probably. I think it's more likely that they'll play it. This player is placing down a lot of so tiles, so they might be the one that gets ronned if they aren't careful. They aren't. Predicting that I need a mid range two tile in the so. Nope, he actually did it. Never mind. I was going off of her patterns and he ended up doing it anyways. So, you know what? Fair enough. I don't care who gets smacked as long as someone gets smacked. Again, I had one mon tile, man. Uh, I have five, six. I could go seven, eight. Uh, 7, 8 would be fine. I'm gonna get rid of the 8, because either way, I would need a 4 or I need a 7 for that sequence. So that is a decent one to get rid of. Um, I'm gonna get rid of my 1. 6, 7, 8 sequence, double 5, double 2. These can become full sequences at any point. Um, seven's really nice. I'm gonna get rid of my East. Someone else is probably gonna... Oh, no one else took it, actually. Never mind. I thought someone was going to take it for prevalent, but I don't know. I don't know if people care enough to get the bonus points for the prevalent wind or not. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. It's very, it's very inconsistent in the skill level of people I run into. I run into some people who, like, anytime they do win, they win with, like, 30,000 points. Like, they like that they get 30,000 in that turn. And then I have people that are just, like... They they throw down their win condition the moment they get it, regardless of like what it is. I don't know. I need a two or a five of the so tile right now, and then I win. Hmm. Pawn. Oh, okay. I don't need the four. You're gonna pawn again? No. Oh, she's in her win condition. She needs one tile to win. He has multiple Kita, so that's a little bit scary there, because that's a decent bit of points. Combined with whatever he's working on, I have the last one. Um, and she plays an East as well. Yeah, she doesn't want it. I'm very scared. He is trying to sit on so tiles. So I need to be careful with placing them. Because he has a bunch, because he has a set of so here, right? And he has none placed here, so his hand has more so tiles in it, most likely. I say that very broadly, because it could it could have um yeah, she got that, but his hand could just be all like wind tiles and stuff, but but no. So now she's gonna go above me, he's gonna drop further down. And now now she's my target. She's my mark. Because now I want her to go down a peg. We actually have some Mon in our hand now, but it's still kind of buns. It. It. Get rid of the one, go for the full sequence of nines. Yeah, if you guys have any like actual like questions or whatnot, I could try to answer them. By no means am I an expert at this game, but I understand it at the very least. So there's that, I guess. The sand's kind of cursed. Uh, a part of it. This part here. My my pin tiles are weird. Because either I go two, three, four, and then I just have a six here. Or I get a seven, and then it's like six, seven, eight, nine, and then I just really only need a seven, eight, nine. So this, like, get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this six, because that's just awkward. Um... And now I just need to complete one of these. There, There's a pair. Okay, there we go. So now I just need a pin tile to win. Oh, uh, yeah, two or two or what was that, five, right? Yeah. Essentially creating, completing this sequence here, which is right there. So there we go, sumo. 
Honestly, if it was seeing you play Mahjong Soul makes me want to get tiles just to randomly swap out a hand of my own in a dramatic fashion with other players. Just going like full Yu-Gi-Oh with it. You're just like, I am the Mahjong master. Turn Turns cap backwards. <laughs> Wearing uh, fingerless gloves. A shirt that has a, a tile on it. Just has like the the, the 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 red dragon tile on it. You're just like I'm the I'm the red dragon of the West, man. I'm gonna beat you up. I always sit west and I always win west. That is that is where that is where the feng shui lies right there. That's that's the that's the coordination that I need to be in and I guarantee my win. Which you shouldn't tell somebody that, because then they'll make you sit east. Hey Kyoko, thank you for the pets. Uh shh. Shy, so we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, Jobu. Part of the tiles, yeah, right. Paul, I love his voice. Paul again. Go. Cool. Uh. Not in the best position, but if I win this round, I just win, period. Which is usually not a good thing for me, because I'm probably not going to win. But, we can try. It is going good. It is going good. I am fully absorbed in the world of tiles. I am surrounded by the power of tiles. I can get rid of the one there because if I need a two for this sequence, I haven't. Um, I also can. There's still no one's played these the uh, the white wind or that either. So if they play either one of these, I can complete a sequence off of them, and then I can fish for the other one as a pair. So I can get rid of the six here, and then if anyone places the white tile, I win. Or he sumos. That works too. So he's going to hit both of us four points, because that is a victory declared from his own hand. Which, that's a big point. That's a big point. He actually is going to win off of that. Uh, if you want to win, you have to become the tiles. Yeah, I have to, I have to channel the tiles, become one with the tiles. Uh, that's a lot of tiles that I don't care about. I'm gonna get rid of my dragon tiles, I guess? Maybe, actually, well, hmm. I'm sitting south. I now have a red tile here, so I could get rid of the nine here. I'm the nine there. There's double there. Um, I'll do that. I'll take that, and then I'll get rid of the white dragon tile. I guess. Maybe. We'll see. I'm really happy that people are enjoying the Mahjong though. Even, you know, people who don't understand exactly what's happening. It's a nice cozy little thing. It's it's a big contrast to me playing my like chaotic like horror games and shit like that. But it's uh I don't know. I, I like it. It's a nice it's a nice late night, early morning vibe, I guess. Don't you do it? Okay, that's fine. I'll palm that. And I'll get rid of the south because there's already to and play there. Um, I don't need double of six here, so I'm gonna get rid of the six. Thank you for the Lark Foxy. Hope you have a great, I guess, early morning for you. <laughs> um, we'll get rid of the one. I don't have a Yaku though, and that's kind of problematic. That's actually a big deal, actually. Um, well, this is not, not the best move that I could be doing here. Yeah. You saw that. 
Man. I'm not in a good position. They are not leaning towards using so tiles right now. So I need to be careful with tiles that are actually not so. Um... Hmm. Oh, that actually would have been nice if I still had that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm scared of placing any tile that's not. I just placed that Mon and I clenched so hard. I was like, oh no. I'm not in a position to win right now. Yeah. And that's going to be a decent bit of points. He's basically just securing his win here. Big time. He he made a big comeback because he was getting he was getting like bullied by both of us. And then he just at the end there and just got like some good hands and came back. But that's how easy it is to like change like the tides in this game. That's what I'll never understand when people are like they just leave when they have a bad hand, when they get hit like by 10k or something like that and they're just like i'm done game shit i lost already and it's like i don't really think so we're gonna we're gonna do some four for a little bit but um yeah it's not usually uh that big of a deal i've i've actually won i've come back from last place to first with negative points before because i had one round that i got 20k and it brought me back up into like 10 10 ish k positive and then um and then from there, um, I just won another round of 20, and then I ended up being on top. So like, you can kind of come back from like anything in this, really. Assuming that, you know, the, the, the heart of the cards is with you, you know, <laughs> the heart of the tiles. Every time I start streaming, my headphones are just like dying. I need to like make it a ritual to charge my headphones before stream. Which is fine because I can just plug it in and they, they just become wired headphones essentially, but. It's still annoying because I'm stubborn and I'm too lazy to usually put the cord in. And so I sit here listening to every five minutes for at least seven times before I actually go, yeah, I'm going to plug them in now. Because I'm just. <laughs> I'm stubborn like that. Uh, West. Come on. Um, I'll get rid of this three, and then I'll get rid of. Maybe one of my sevens, maybe. Depends on what happens in these next three turns here. Yeah, so I'll get rid of one of the sevens. Now I have three, four. Um, so. I'll... What happened? Okay, I think we were just lagging there or something else. Um, we'll get rid of this, I guess. Um, still two of these. We might be okay. I don't know. I think I might get rid of the eight. Eight pin. I think. I mean, this isn't any better, so I'm gonna get rid of that, actually. That's not an improvement. This person really does not need the singular pins, man. And none of us need the white dragon tiles. I kind of forgot we had a fourth person. I was like, wow, this is a lot of tiles. That's why. Cheap. Get rid of this. Um... Is going in for the hit there. It's really pretty. Only for 1k, but she that puts her in the lead and secures her in fourth place. Everyone needs to hit the button. 
Please and thank you. Uh, I don't like my hands. Well, hmm. Yeah, no, I don't like it. I'll chew with the red tile here. I'll get rid of the one. I guess. This is this is a mess. My so tiles are, are a mess. Absolutely disgusting mess. Um if someone places a second uh west tile, I'm gonna get rid of my west tile, I think. This person already disconnected. They they uh, they either rage quit. We'll see. If they come back, then they just happen to close the app or something for a second. But I swear, if they lost 1,000 points and decided to leave off of 1,000 points, that is insane to me. <laughs> like, damn. You have little faith in yourself in the match if you are literally only missing 1,000 points. You can get 1,000 points back for sneezing. That's never the issue. You can get 10,000 back with sneezing. But they're like, no, I can only win. If I'm not winning, it's not worth my time. That was not the plan, but this is a very tight opportunity here. There's only one tile on the board that can be used. I need a white dragon tile to win in with this set that I have. And the odds of someone playing it are slim. And I'd have to tear through 40 tiles and hope. The good thing is, is that none of them have a reason to keep the white tile in their hand because they can't capitalize on it unless they decide to try to hold out for a pair of it but none of them can really benefit from having it so if they have it it's likely that they'll actually place it um because there's one here and there's two in my hand so they know that the odds of them getting it are going to be lower so it's not advantageous to hoard that tile Unless they're just going to suspect that because there's only one on the table that they shouldn't play it in, in, in case it's going to result in them negatively being attacked. But again, I don't know if people are thinking that that crazily. I'm someone who tries to usually think ahead, so that's a rare occurrence for me, but not a lot of people do. They kind of just are very reactionary. I'm going to bet that none of them even have the tile to begin with, and now we're pulling for it. But then this makes it a race against time, because I'm sitting on one tile. So I need one of them to discard it, or for me to draw it, before we get through all of these tiles. Because they will have, every single cycle is another opportunity for one of them to win, like that. Yeah. It was it was a really rough decision to try to try to make it. Oh, three concealed. That's rough. Yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, they they went hard there. Now I'm in last. See you rage quitter. That would be a situation that's a little bit more frustrating than one k man. What the hell? I will never understand people who are so competitive over games to the point that they can't just like finish out the match. Like, the only times that I've, I think I've ever really abandoned a game of any kind, whether it's a board game or a shooter game or something like that, I think it's just when people are just, like, when the whole team is just being unbelievably toxic, and we're not going to win, they're just yelling at each other, saying racial things or other whatever the hell, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm good. I don't need, I don't need my blood pressure being raised from you guys being immature. Like, that, that's, like, the only time. It's never actually, like, the game itself that makes me end up leaving. If it, anything, it's the people that are just like, all right, y'all aren't even worth my time. Because usually, you know, if it's going poorly, it's just like, damn, all right, well, I'll set this out. I mean, I'm a team player, man, right? Um, or maybe there's that opportunity that I can win. But when it's, like, the entire team is just being, like, horrible, then it's like, all right, you guys can, you guys can be toxic together. I wish more games had a system like... Um, 
uh, Dota 2. So like there's a mobile called Do uh, Dota that um, if you basically end up being like perceived by the game as being one of the like toxic players, um, you basically get put into a lobby. Like you, when you queue in, you only queue in with people who are also considered toxic. It kind of puts you in like the punishment corner with all the other bad kids. And that's a really nice thing. And then you have to like work your way out of it. So if you continue to be toxic, you're not going to get out of it. But then if you kind of like clean up your ways, then you'll get out of it. And I mean, it's a free to play game. So if you really, if you really care about being in that bracket, you're just going to make like a new account, right? But that is an extra step and an extra deterrent to prevent people from getting to that point, you know? So you get flagged. Yeah, basically. And like, I think if you, if you, it's usually only, I think with bad behavior, I don't think it's like any, anything else. So, and it's not too, too common. I don't think for people to be like wrongfully flagged, um, since they're pretty good at looking through it, but there is a abundance of toxicity. So it's very good that, you know, people get teared out of there, but like the line between being like exceedingly toxic or not is like so varied that it's, you know, there's still a lot of toxicity in the core games, but it does help to keep like the repeat offenders out of it because if enough people are reporting somebody, then they'll investigate and take action in some way. So like it is kind of nice, I guess, but I'm not in a position to win this round. I'm actually pretty, pretty fucked right now. But like, I wish more games had systems like that. Because I think like just hard banning people isn't often enough of an incentive um, to get rid of them. Because ironically, you think that, oh, yeah, banning them and getting them off the game would be the best. But unless you're IP banning them, um, you're not really going to prevent them from coming back. They'll just buy the game again or install it again if it's a free to play game. Um, and so like at that point, this person's crazy. Um they're going they're going for crazy like crazy things seven pairs and stuff like that man like no one else does that <laughs> everyone else is just like reachy so you know simple you know freaking thing nope it's just this person's this person's going for actual setups um are they like upper adept or something no they're not even they're just a, the same rank as me they're just playing properly i guess um but like yeah like most people will just buy another copy of the game and say fuck it i'm back right when you're toxic um love that you had to take Time to pause to call that player quackers. Yes. Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, like if you put if you allow somebody to still play the game, right? And you just put them in a punishment bracket, then you give them hope, right? That they can keep all their stuff and keep all their ranks and their cosmetics and whatever else. Um, and so they'll still play the game, but they'll be sitting in the bad kids corner, right? And I think that's a that's a smarter way of doing it. And um, then you can kind of gauge from there um, based on their offenses, how long they'll be in those brackets. And then like if they do get out of that bracket and they become a repeat customer and end up back in the bracket, then you can extend the duration of that. And then after a point, you either just lock them into that or you just probably ban them at that point because clearly they're a lost cause. But it kind of ends up being more of like a re rehabilitation factor and being like, truly, do you understand what the fuck keeps putting you here rather than just banning them? And then they just like in their head are like, I did nothing wrong. Fuck this game. You know, whatever. I'm just going to make another account. And then they don't like learn anything at all. Or at the very least that they transition quickly on to a new account and just immediately start continuing to be toxic on a new account. So it kind of creates that mediary period where you can kind of hold the toxic people in a little corner off to the side and um it not be as as big of a problem i guess so i don't know i think that's a good way to do it but that's the thing about that is is that that requires you to employ a team that is very very attentive to disciplinary action and a lot of games either a can't do that because they're smaller indie games and hiring a team that's specifically dedicated to disciplinary action is not feasible or it's just like not tangible in the aspect of like how many people are on the game and the distinctions of like 
what dictates somebody violating a rule far enough to be in that bracket. And like you also just get like a lot of false reports of people just being like, oh, fuck this guy. This guy's the, the worst player ever. And then they just go and like report him. Right. Like it's not it, it's just like, you know, and then you have to sift through all of that to then kind of come out on top there and have a basic understanding of what the hell's happening in the first place. So it's like it, it's 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 a lot easier of a thing to propose than it is to implement because you also would need to implement um, automatic systems um to gauge on it and you would also need a good catalog system you can't go completely off of people's words which a lot of game creators do some of them have back-end uh resources that they could check like consistency of you know key movements or whatever like that to check to see if maybe somebody is hacking but as far as poor behavior a lot of games do not have any type of like logs of recording text chats or um verbal chats and stuff like that which i think verbal chats are a lot more offensive usually text chats because people will refrain from saying stuff in text chat and it will just be as crazy and racist as they want in voice chat because they know they're not being recorded by the game and storing all of those audio files will just take up a lot of bandwidth and space and all that stuff so it's just it's just a lot to invest in um so there needs to be like a good foundation to automate a lot of those entry level complaints and differentiate them for the disciplinary committee to then distinguish things like separating the toxic players from the main audience, the consistently toxic players anyways. Because you also don't want to put people in there who just, you know, they have that one bad game, right? They have no other offenses in that one game. They're just like, you know, fuck this game, fuck you people, whatever. And then you're putting them in this bracket with these people who all they do is behave like that. So it's like, it, it, it's, a, it's a very slippery kind of slope. And it takes a lot of resources, a lot of time and pre-planning. And I can guarantee you that people are not sitting there going, hey, let's spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to implement into our disciplinary thing when they're just trying to make sure that the game doesn't explode on day one. So, yeah. Food check, I ate a couple hours ago. At least I a meal, it's been a while since I've had a meal. <clears throat> But um, it's uh, I've been snacking throughout the day. I had some, had some cookies. I had some like meat sticks. I don't even know what I'm doing with my hand. I got like so caught up in talking that I've just been kind of on autopilot here. But um, Break! hydrate. I actually do not even have a water near me, so I'll have to get that after this match. That hydrate will have to be delayed until these guys kick my ass. Which kind of gives me, like, FIFA energy. Hey, thank you for the lurk, sunshine. Appreciate you. One, two, da, da. I can get rid of the seven. In that last match, I wasn't going to win. I was not paying attention at all. I was too busy on my ramble about uh, disciplinary uh, action in video games. I do think it is pretty important for games that know that they're going outwardly. Thank you for that, Bats. That are going outwardly um, uh, competitive to consider baseline disciplinary action like that. It shouldn't be a reactionary thing of, well, yeah, we'll, we'll react when we get reports. They need to employ a good anti-cheat, and they need to also employ... Uh, at least a small dedicated team is going to focus on doing some kind of, um, you know, work in the trenches um, and not just having a team that just kind of sits there and reacts once they've received a copious amount of bans. I mean, like uh, reports. But that is asking a lot of these developers who are not inclined to do that. So, most games don't do that because they don't care. I think it's less about not caring. And it's more about it's not financially feasible most of the time. Because, like, as I was explaining, like, there is a lot of costs that come into that. Because you would need to implement some kind of baseline automated system for frontline disciplinary action to sift through all the bullshit that people make. Because they are going to report you. Or they might do something that seems a little sus, but then it's actually not. And then you're wasting resources going after people who aren't doing anything wrong. But then you also need a dedicated team to go into it. 
but then you also need to implement and decide on systems to handle those punishments because just going with suspensions and bans is the laziest thing you can possibly do rather than finding out the root causes and contesting them completely and a lot of companies when it comes to cheating um they don't take action right out of the gates because it's not cost effective because designing your own anti-cheat or investing in a decent anti-cheat is also an issue um and so a lot of them will use easy anti-cheat because it's well it's easy it's easy to implement it's easy to use it is you know universally proven to at least work to some degree and so people will use that but it's easy to exploit and get around um eac so like that's another issue all in its own right there um it's just you know it, it's it's a mixture there are certain companies i would say that don't care like i don't think destiny cares i don't think bungie cares i don't think you know um i don't think blizzard cares really not not honestly um but at the same time it is also a cost thing and it is also something to implement it after your launch as well i think companies like bungie and blizzard have plenty of money i'm just dead stop fucking me while i'm down man stop fucking me while i'm down like <laughs> i'm trying to have a conversation you're just you're just you're just hitting me for like 10k man like relax um but I'm already dead, man. I'm already dead. Go for someone else. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they have the resources, the men, and, like, the power to implement those kind of systems, but they're not going to. Um, especially because, like, when you're looking at companies, um, especially, like, Blizzard or Activision, right? Um, a lot of their community benefits from things like esports and competitive play right and if you start doing deeper investigations into the performance and uh personalities i guess of the people who play those games you're gonna have a lot more people getting banned and those are potentially people who could be feeding into your competitive scene and your esports scene that are now being blocked out and that means bye bye profit because nobody plays overwatch casually like really like the the people who like are actually like the long stayers always get their get themselves in ranked or something like that right and then at that point um even if they're bad or they think they're good even if they're like i'm so good at this game and they're in fucking bronzy low they're still playing ranked right and so like you're gonna have to ban like half of your <laughs> your ranked audience and if your game's main selling point is ranked not a good look right um and so a lot of companies will try not to do that um like they don't they don't really have an excuse to not implement a system like that because of their resources but other companies it's just it is sometimes just financially not realistic especially if you weren't prepared for your game to be a success sometimes you, you know sometimes you're just not really sitting there going hey my game's gonna have you know 500,000 concurrent players at a given time and you're not prepared to deal with that much disciplinary action like look at look at Helldivers for instance, right? It's not a competitive game, right? But it has a multiplayer aspect, and there are people who are assholes, right? But there is no report system in the game, and there's no way to take disciplinary action against people who are being assholes. You can be as racist and crazy as you want, you can grief your teammates all you want, and there's nothing that you can do to report it and 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 handle that, right? And I don't think that's a matter of them not caring. And I do think that they'll eventually do something about that. But it was definitely not something that they planned to have implemented because it was something that they, one, didn't expect the player base that they got. And two, um, you wouldn't think that people would be such dicks in the game, but you always got to assume that people are assholes. People are much quicker to be assholes than they are to be nice. That's the thing. Like, you are much more likely to run into someone who's a dick than you are to run into somebody who's nice. And that's just the sad reality of it in, like, the video game scape. Because everybody's playing games for their own reason, and regardless if we say that we're playing it for fun or we're playing it to be competitively, we're all playing it for some form of self-gratification and, like, satisfaction from that game. And so it's a very thin line before that becomes that I'm just playing it for fun becomes a toxic landscape for you. It's a very thin line and it, you know, it takes 
it takes a certain kind of person to avoid falling into that toxic trap. But in reality, it is very prevalent and very easy for people to fall into it because it is a space in which you can safely, relatively, safely act out of pocket, right? If you just start flipping out at your work, you're going to get fired. If you start flipping out at school, you're going to get expelled. If you start flipping out in public, you're going to get arrested, right? But if I sit there and act completely out of line on the video game, then what's going to happen? I'm going to get suspended for a week? Banned, maybe? Buy the game again and play it again? Like, who cares? Fuck my money, but like, yeah. So like, you know, it's very easy for people to blur the line in how they behave on video games and in online situations because there is no real consequence. And so, you know, games need to have more action to kind of handle that. But unfortunately, it's not a common occurrence and something that is uh, commonly applied, I guess. Or implemented well, at the very least. So, I don't know. I hope that over time, companies learn that they need to implement this, but it should not be something that we're just now figuring out in 2024. We've had 24 years of consistent online service games to realize that people are horrible <laughs> and that we need to police it, uh, both for the safety of people as well as just the enjoyment of it. Because at the end of the day, we're all playing the game to enjoy it, even if we are being the assholes that we are in those games. Um, and so making sure that you're maintaining a safe and productive space is really important. But... It's a lot easier said than done. That's scary. I don't want to play like anything. My hand's like... Bond. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. That's my rant. That's my, that's my TED Talk. What I'm hearing is that Fufu should be hired as a game dev. I don't know about a game dev, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just I'm looking at it from more so the perspective of like one one somebody who plays the games, right? Someone who is a partaker in those games, um, as well as just from like my profession, right? Working in brand management, um, and um, and like helping companies and stuff like that, because in that regard. Your community is a reflection of your own game. So even if your game is a 10 out of 10, right, and everybody loves the game, it can easily be eaten alive by, um, by your community, right? You can have a good game and the toxicity can come and eat it alive. Uh, look at um, Dead by Daylight, right? I don't think there's many people who actively continue to play Dead by Daylight who would say it's a bad game, right? They might be mad at it, they might claim that it's a bad game, but they love the game, and they think it's a good game. There's probably things that they could say that could be better, or worse, or whatever, sure. Everyone has critiques, everyone, nothing is above uh, criticism, right? But, it has an incredibly, 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 incredibly toxic community. And so a lot of people will be turned off of your game, or have a persistent perception about your game because of the way that it's handled. And part of the reason why that persists is because they don't have proper systems in line to manage that toxicity, right? Um, and so, like, people need to learn that maintaining the, the image of your game, right? And in turn, maintaining the image of the values that your company stands behind is incredibly important. But people don't see it at that level because they see the money coming in or they see the money that would be lost investing in a system like that. And then it's just not as favorable of a system to have anymore. And then it's not a good situation at that point. So, I don't know. So basically, y'all still trifling, you still don't get it, Hufu, a god, a consumer, a viewer. Yes. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just something that always peeves me. Because, like, it's, it's less of, like, like, of course, the person who consumes the media and partakes in those games and stuff, I want my game to be, like, you know, not toxic, right? But also as somebody who is... Just looking at it from a professional standpoint, it drives me crazy 
to, to, to see people acting like that, like the developers and not taking appropriate action. And even more so when they play it down, when they do make official remarks on it, when they're like, oh, we're doing everything we can. Are you though? Are you though? Do you think banning people in waves is doing everything you can? Do you think just saying that you banned a thousand people this year is enough? Is it? Is that everything you could be doing? I don't think so. Because your live service game has been going on for a decade now, and you're still having issues with cheaters. You're still having issues with, you know, um, all kinds of craziness and crazy behavior from them. And that is something that you can police. You can't get rid of. You, there's, there's, no, there's no magical cure-all be rid of these kind of people. You know, that's, that's just how it is. But you can definitely curve how toxic your community is by having proper disciplinary action and... Potentially even rewards for good behavior. I have seen games that have, like, if you're somebody who gets a lot of commendations instead of reports, that you get, like, things like loot crates or something like that. So it incentivizes you to try to behave or at least rewards the people who are going to behave, right? So, you know, it's, like, things like that you can do. There are little things, little band-aids. All you can really do is patch up the leaks as they start when it comes to toxicity and behavior and cheating in your game. All you can do is kind of be proactive with it. But a lot of companies don't even do that. And usually it comes down to money one way or another. Either that they're making so much money or that they... Um, man, can you leave me alone? That they're either... Um, <laughs> that they're either you know, making a lot of money or they don't want to be losing money to implementing such proactive systems, right? So, money, 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 either way. So, you know... But I, I think people fail to understand that any time that you have some kind of a public figure, right, as a company, as a game, as a group, as an individual on social media, PR is always something you got to worry about. And no one is above or beneath it. You always need to worry about how things are publicly perceived, how you behave with it, how you put things out there, and being aware of any landmines that you might be stepping in. Um, but everybody just thinks that everything's fun and games, and then when everything explodes, they go, Pikachu face, what the fuck happened? Why did, why did this happen? I don't understand. You guys are crazy. You're, this community is toxic. You, it's all your fault. And it's like, no, it's because you weren't behaving properly to begin with. Like, I've been in, I've been in groups and things, communities and stuff that claim to be not toxic and claim to not be, you know, above it being, you know, um, that they, that they are, um, you know, n not picking favorites or, or or whatever and stuff like that. And it's all it's all fucking bullshit, man. Everyone has to stroke their own egos. Everybody has to kind of feel a certain way and whatnot. Um, and, and a lot of them just don't hide it, you know. But like people don't think about the consequences of their actions in the moment or how it's presented and then have to double back and end up usually damaging whatever reputation or um situation that they're in further than it already is that's why i'm very careful with what i say and i don't post things out because a lot of a lot of things like a lot, an easy way to damage yourself online and damage yourself in a lot of places is just to kind of like post everything that's on your mind and say everything that's on your mind and it's like dude just shut up <laughs> so just go to the next match go to the next game don't post that tweet like what the fuck man like it's just that easy I don't like to stroke my ego. I like to iron it and fold it nice and neat. I mean, fair enough. I don't even have a solid ego, man. I am like, I just deal with things as they are. You know, I don't think highly of myself, but I also don't think necessarily lowly of myself. I just kind of go, this is what I, I, I do A, I do B, I do C, right? A works, B sometimes works, C doesn't really work, and, um, you know, D, you know, gets me into trouble sometimes, right? And I'm only going to go off of what I tangibly can see, right? And it's always subjective to that moment, right? Because A could be working right now, and I could, I could easily sit there and be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm top shit because A is working out, and then it doesn't, right? And then it all goes down, and then what, am I going to die on that hill of... 
I'm so good because of A? Nah, man. It's like that. Uh, clearly, I'm not top shit if I'm getting fucked up like that, right? <laughs> so I don't know. I'm very, I'm very much reactive to the moment, and it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. Because on one hand, it puts me in a position where I am not arrogant and not egotistical, but on the other hand, it also puts me in positions where. I'm I, like I'm aware that I do not see the value um in some of the things that I can do or that I want to do because I don't tangibly see the success of something or I don't value a singular success over other things that are multiple successes and therefore I downplay or downvalue certain things and I'm aware I do that but it's just it's just how my brain works I'm not going to sit there and act like I'm top shit um when i'm not or that that top shit is able to change right and i'll never i'll never sit there and hardcore stroke my ego when i do well in the game i'll be like that was really cool i'm prepared to get fucked the next game because <laughs> like realistically i might have good moments at something and then uh and then I, I get humbled real quick so and that goes with anything in my life I will appreciate the victories, but not drag the celebrations on longer than they need to be. Ah, money! Money, money, money! Give me money! Uh, the God of Fortune and Curses has just confirmed that his ego is not solid, and thus we can now confer that it is either gaseous or liquid. More news after the commercial break. You know what? Probably. It's probably a liquid. I'd say I'd say um I'd say no he's is more gaseous given the, the pooting all the time, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I vote for the liquid ego, yeah. Cause then it's a little bit more palatable, right? You can drink it. Sometimes sometimes ego is hard to swallow, so you know, you don't want it to be solid. Really hard to consume a gas, you know, and that's, that sounds kind of gross too, you know. But uh, if it's a liquid, it sounds pretty easy to swallow. Pause, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Question mark? Only mildly sounds sus. Exactly. You can add something, lemon or mint, then you can drink it. Exactly. Uh, I got I got very uh, <laughs> fluid ego. That's that's so fucking weird. <laughs> uh, it, the the one thing over these past couple years, because like I was very much growing up, I was the kind of person who was very much a people pleaser. I would sacrifice any and all things if it means getting the acceptance and the appreciation of others. And so I was very desperate for that attention and very desperate for that validation. Um, and it's only in more recent years that I have been trying to reform from that and kind of being more so like, fuck other people. Uh, cause I definitely had a lot of situations screw me over, but I was kind of like that, like puppy that got kicked, right? It just kept coming back, even though you'd kick it across the room, right? Like that kind of thing. That was me. I would, I, I was literally like, you, you could... You could treat me horribly and I'd still be like, but like, can I have five minutes of attention, please? And I'd come crawling back. Um, and then there was like a breaking point and I like snapped from that point. And I've been trying to learn to be a little bit more, I guess, like for better lack of the word, like selfish, I guess. Um, the best way that I can put it, because I was definitely only giving, only giving, only giving. And I, I wouldn't accept things unless like it was feasible to that moment for me so it's in in general i'm trying to i guess establish being a little bit more you know having a little bit more self-value and a little bit more um i guess of an ego <laughs> a healthy a healthy amount of ego because boy did i uh did like don't get me wrong anything bad that happened to me over over the years because of that you know isn't all my fault because obviously those are bad people taking advantage of me but also like i i definitely 
allowed it to happen by facilitating that behavior, I guess. So like, yeah. There's a very there's a very like like thin line of walking on to making sure that you have like enough of an established ego and, and persona for yourself and then also still having like um a, a level of like, you know, humility and being humble and stuff like that. Because then, then you start crossing into another line that is, you know, unfavorable in another way. Yippee! A lot of points. All last, if I can win this round, it's all ogre. Yippee! Oh boy! Uh huh. Mishka, Mushka, Mickey Mouse, Clubhouse. <laughs> All going up to that pitch makes me think of is just Mickey. Just Mickey lives rent free in my head, man. Um, I could get rid of the. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll get rid of the one. Keep the three for the pin. This is a very messy hand, though. Um, I'll get rid of a dragon tile. I still gotta get a water after this. I forgot about that. I went back into another game during that, but because I was rambling and I was just like, I need to continue this conversation for my ADHD. Nice. <laughs> nice. This is a gross hand. I'm actually kind of in a in the territory for all pairs. But now I'm scared because she just did Richie. I have what they call the fear. But now I am in Richie. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, let's go. Get wrecked. I mean, <laughs> good match. GG. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yes, exactly. But it was them that was in danger all along. Aha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get a let me go grab a water real quick. <laughs> I'll uh, All right. <laughs> um, that's so that's so sweet of you. Thank you. I ended up <laughs> ended up going. I got myself um, 
I got myself a uh, cup. I put I put ice in it. I poured my flavoring in it. Then I started walking back to my room. I made it into the room, and I'm like, water. I turned around and <laughs> forgot to pour the water into the cup. And so then I had to pour the water. Yep. I had a nice ADHD moment where I was just going to basically eat ice covered in water flavoring. So, you know. Yeah, I was back pretty quickly. I'm 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 very tall. I have I have I have large leg strides, man. I can get from my my room to my my kitchen and like <laughs> with like five strides up there. I'm good. As long as I'm not doing something crazy, I can I can I can get back pretty quick. Ah oh, man, this is bad. This is the stinky hand. Also, I've never seen this character before. It's cute. I don't know. Maybe I have seen the character. They're just um, maybe they're just uh. I know there's outfits in this game, so maybe that's just like an alternate outfit of some character I've seen. Um, uh, wish I could see the name. I don't think you could see the name of the character itself, right? Um, get rid of a two here. Actually, I'll get rid of this two as well. Because there's already two down. If I get one, it's not going to really matter. Um, yeah. So then I'll have three, four, five, seven, eight, nine here. Two, three, four here. Um, I need something to work out over here. I don't need that. Hmm. I did unmute myself, right? I think so. <laughs> I believe I did. Leech. And now I sit back and hope I win. Yep, can hear you loud and clear, Fufu. -foo. All right, good. I'm glad. I thank you everybody for chilling and listening to my rambles about game PR, ego, and... Uh, uh, disciplinary action in online spaces. Is that one player's hand a cat ball? Yeah, they have a cosmetic for their hand to be a cat ball, yeah. So, like, normally your hand, I believe, is based on the hand of the character you're playing as, right? So, like, you see, like, my hand is actually tanned there because my character's tanned. I mean, you'll have, like, a white, dainty female hand go for that one, and I think it's the same hand. Like, it would normally be, like, the same-ish hand for her, but... You can have cosmetics for other things, and I believe there's a bunch of different cat balls you can have. But there's also furry characters in this game, and those furry characters obviously will have paws. <laughs> so, like, you could either have the cosmetic or you can just have the, the character. I saw it just now and was worried I was hallucinating. Absolutely to Lulu. <laughs> yeah. No, there's definitely paws that are happening right now. Big tabby paw. Ita. Damn. I have ten pie, but doesn't matter. Double ten pie, so we're gonna get each of us gonna get one K. She's gonna get sucked up for two. Yay, I'm not going first. Man, seriously, I don't, I do not get montiles, man. Like they didn't they do not exist for me. They're not real. At all. Oh, that's exactly actually what I wanted. And I get rid of this one. And then... It'd be nice to have a 7 of peen. And a 7 or 4 of so. An 8 works too, because that'll get me close to it. Because then now... Seven can go either way, so I can get a four and a seven. Right, my headphones are dying. That's the thing that's happening. Forgot about that. Oh, I should have kept that six. I kept that six and got rid of the eight. So I have five, six, and then the potential of nine, nine, nine. I'll get rid of the eight and I'll have five, five, five. 
There are no others on the match. She's in Ricci, so she's close to winning. So is she. That's horrible. There's not even enough tiles on the table for me to know how fucked I'm about to get. Yo, Kata! Ay, Dios mío, holy shit. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. See, again, one mon, man. Damn, now she has all those, like, oh, damn, when I get all, when I get all the, the Norths, man, I ain't get to capitalize on shit. Not at all. I'm gonna get rid of this too, I guess. Maybe. Oh. Get rid of this seven. This is an okay hand, but it does not have a lot of point potential. Also, deja vu. Holy shit. Three, four, five, seven, eight, 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 eight. White, white. This white pin ain't gonna do anything for me. Yeah, you take that. I'll take that. And then we'll get rid of the seven, and then I am in a dual win condition here. If I get an eight pin or an eight so, I win the round like that. Hmm. Good beverage. Not many points, but it at least puts me a bit further ahead than this person. We're only in stage two. So I can work with this. Again, I have one montile man. One man. We can get rid of the four in my pin tiles, I guess. Oh, well, actually, this, this uh, montile means nothing to me. Anyone who's actually paying attention to the tiles I play are probably just like, dude, this person really does not like, <laughs> really does not like, uh, montiles. They just place, like, all of them down. It's like, because I just keep getting them so set up. They can get wrecked, Tabby. Yeah, right? Wasn't worth enough points, though, to be, like, anything big, uh, big braggy, though. Unfortunately. I get rid of the oh I shouldn't have got rid of the five so just because that is a higher rarity. So that could have actually been worth more points if I got to capitalize on it like I did right there. Oh pain. Oh the active pain. I'm physically, mentally, and in all ways in the pain. Yeah, keep tell one more time, man. One more time. Yes, the pain. And the paths of pain. I'll get rid of that dragon tile because the green dragon tile is just dead in the water. She's in Ricci. She's gonna fuck me. I know it. It's gonna be my head. I'm gonna go for my head. East is dead too, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm not gonna draw any more of those. Those are all in play. Dodge! Dodge. I wish I could dodge in Mahjong. I'd be, I'd be out of there. Big time. More Montiles, but no one needs it. That's nice. Uh do this. Up oh, goodbye. Oh, thank God. It was her, not the other one. We'll do it. Okay, cool. Damn, if I still have that, I'd be able to capitalize and I have a little extra points in my pocket. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Oh, thank God no. <gasps> Scary. Every time it pauses and someone can do something, I'm just like, oh please. Not me. Please. Let me live. Please. I beg you. I beg. I beg. 
Isn't this the artist that did the intro for Tokyo Revengers? I believe so, yes. It's, um... Uh... Oops. Ige Don... Don Bison? Oh, uh, 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 this? There's no way I'm gonna win this. She needs to play my dream tile or else we lose. Yep, there we go. But I have ten pie. We all have ten pies, so and nobody nobody gets anywhere for that. Happy ad break, people. I have a nice, I have a nice, uh, I have a nice. I don't know. I don't know what ads people get. I bought nitro, uh, not nitro, um, turbo now because I was tired of ads on people's streams and tired of getting ads from switching streams. Like if I wanted to watch somebody else for a little bit, having to watch that pre-roll was always fun. But you can also get rid of ads. You can also get rid of ads by subscribing. Same. Um, ads are two minutes. What the fuck? E yes, I think. I think I increase the duration of them so that there's less ads during a time period. We'll see everyone back in the ads, and we appreciate you watching them and supporting our funny deity. I don't know about funny. But appreciate it nonetheless. Kanya. I appreciate the sentiment. I need a two or a six, so and not to get messed up right now. Those are not the numbers I need. Those are the correct faces, but those are not the right. I need two or six, please. Two, two or a six, please. Two, two or a six, please. No, no, two or a six, please. Please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. I need it. I need the win. I need to feel something. So they're all getting rid of so tiles, but they're not getting rid of the right so tiles. I hate it. Come on. I'm staring so intently at the screen as if that's going to manifest my victory. Please. 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 Please give me the tile. Please. Come on. Come on. Two or six. Let's go. Bob. Let's go. <laughs> Mad funny. Was so, was, I was so deep in there. I was like, wait, I'm begging you. <laughs> it fooled me ASMR. I mean, someone said during my, what should I do for my anniversary? They wanted me to read horror stories, but then I ended up not doing it because that was going to be like one of the last things I did, like late night cozy horror. And then um, I ended up playing with my friends and whatnot for the rest of the night. So that's still up on the table for something. Have a nice night where I pull up like creepy pasta and just be like, all right, so they walk through the room, you know, whatever, you know, be like, hey, how you doing? It was nighttime. And the darkness came. I feel like if I ever did the horror reading now, I would probably like, I don't know, I would, mm, I wouldn't want to have like the weird effects going on. I wouldn't want to be like reading the story and then someone just like, who ordered all those fucking anime titties? Like, it's just, like, I don't know, man, kind of ruins the mood. Leave me alone. Oh my. God, oh, hit me harder, mother. Jeez. I'm going to try to nap for a bit before dinner. All right, have a good nap, Sarah. Thank you for chilling. Yeah, yeah. Kita. I'll go to this nine again, too. Okay, I am here. 100%. 
How dare you not give me 100% of your attention at all times? How insulting. Do you not understand that I am a Kami? So da. Boko ha hifumi desu. Uh, man, this is not a good setup. Don't look at me. Nobody look at me. Don't look at me. Bad hand. Don't look at it. Don't look at it, Chad. Sorry, I'm messing with my soundboard. Uh, don't look at it, Chad. I'll do it. Too bad you're looking. Well, you can't look now, can you? Hmm. 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 <laughs> it was nighttime. Kind of dark night. But even the stars, stars bright light were dim like fading glow sticks. I was sitting alone in the kitchen. A bowl of sirloin burger soup. Piping hot in the bowl. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got fucked just now. I was doing so well. This is how it always goes. I have such strong rounds, and then it's just like, nah. Quick, inject him with 40 cc's of friendship! Please, I need it. I need the 40 cc's of friendship. Karma? Man, you got you know, I'm, I'm the fortune commie here. What the hell are you talking about, Karma? <laughs> I decide, Karma. All right, I need I want to capitalize on this five, so I have, but like realistically, not gonna happen. <laughs> realistically. However, however, oh, yeah. done. Man, beer. The fear. I have the primal fear. Ah, uh, this is a dumb choice, but I'm gonna do it because no one ever said I was intelligent. No one ever said I had more than one IQ. But I sure as hell don't. What song is this? Called um, oops, it's called Cinderella Boy by Saucy Dog. Uh huh, Cind Cinderella, yeah. The one brain cell play, yeah, exactly. You see it. This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Everything's so bad. Why is everything so bad? Uh. That's pain. That's pain. I, I was in first place, and then I wasn't. Yeah, wait, I got you. I got you guys. Give me one sec. I got you. 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 Um. Um. What is the key press? There it is.
There you go. Got you. Yeah. Easy fix. <laughs> Nothing, I don't think, important in that corner anyways. Oh, she's so cute. You're so cute. Don't give me first turn. Thank you. So cute. I need to plug in my headphones. Oh, God. That is, that is not... <laughs> I wasn't expecting random, like, voice line like that. And holy shit, I was like, the fuck is happening? And, like, looked around like the world was ending. I'll get rid of that tile. Trying to get my charger cable. Oh, God. I'm sorry if I was really loud right there. I got really, really close to my mic. Hmm. Wait, did you even sleep today? Were you not listening early? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I um, I slept for like two hours. I think, I think is how much I slept. About that, two or three hours. How dare you! I told you to give me your undivided attention. Yeah, no, I I slept uh for like two uh, two or three hours before stream because I couldn't sleep all day, and then I got to a point where I was just like studying mahjong and. I watched, like, I caught up on, like, three or four different shows. So, yeah. I caught up on Shogun. I caught up on The Rookie. I caught up on Mashal. I caught up on Next Level Chef. I caught up on... Pizza! Um... I think that's it? I think. Maybe. I might I might have watched like an episode of something else. My dad is watching Shogun right now. Well, it's so good. I was very skeptical, but it's so good. It's too good. It's a well done historical uh drama. Sometimes they're really boring, but like the that time period is really interesting, and that like development and whatnot is very interesting to me. I just can't stand like colonial American shit. <laughs> those those dramas, I'm just like, Ugh, please, please. Asian stuff, good shit. Even even like you know, it's just it's just like American and English stuff. I'm just like, man, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's also not like an interesting thing to watch when like action breaks out. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like muskets and stuff. Ugh. Boring. Boring. I have a really weird hand and I don't need this dragon. I'm gonna get rid of it because it really freaking sucks. Yeah, I was I was push I was gonna push off watching Shogun until it was like done because like it's a pain to keep up on um on uh ongoing series and being like is there a new episode did they take a break or whatever especially because i'm not using like hulu or netflix or something that'll catalog like your last episode i'm watching it on um <laughs> less than official websites um which makes it so that i can't really keep track of what episode i'm on and anytime I open it, then I have to go and be like, wait, was I on episode three or was I on episode four? I think I saw episode three. And then I have to watch like 10 seconds of it and be like, oh, no, 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 I did see this. All right, episode four. And then that's just pain in the ass. So I try not to watch a lot of like ongoing series like that, but I've been watching a lot of like shows lately. Usually I just like play a lot of games or do a lot of like <clears throat> spending a copious amount of time job searching. But I've just been like so mentally tired that I've just been like 
It's, yeah, man, I was about to win. Um, but I was um, I don't know. I'm just so mentally exhausted with my job search and still trying to juggle everything else and keep the motivation for all my hobbies and stuff. So I'm just like, I just need to turn off my brain and watch some shows. So I've just been binging things, taking a bit of a nine terminal initial draw. Um, Ita. Um, so I've just been kind of like, yeah, I'm just turning off my brain and taking a break from the chaos. It's the same with like working towards like debut and my model and stuff like that. I've kind of like taken a backseat on any type of like super promotion stuff or any type of big changes for a minute until that point, and then I'll go back to going hard again. Once that happens, for now, I'm just gonna go, gonna go chill and stuff. Because I do have plans for YouTube, I do have plans for the stream and stuff like that, that I'm kind of putting into stasis until after debut, just to kind of give myself a break. Um, Because I've just been so tired and so mentally exhausted and just uh, not happy, I guess, is the best way to put it. So I've just kind of just been like, just relax, breathe. Because if I dwell on it too much, then the weight will just get too heavy and whatnot. So I'm just trying to enjoy the moment and just try to surround myself with good company and you guys and all that stuff. So otherwise, I'd go insane. Insane, oh cat. Come on. Give me one of the ones that I need. Just one of them, please. No, that's not that's not correct. Give me like a six. So six, please, please. Why are you like this? Just, just, just. she is. She's a lot. She's a lot. I'm gonna say that right now. She's a lot. Nine nine five seven seven. Six here would be nice. Actually, no, you need to not do that. That'd be a really cool thing for you not to do. Um, yeah. Damn. What was the frame rate on that? The hell was that? What the hell even is that? Ita. My brain is so fucking chaotic most times I don't even know how to switch it off anymore. I have an issue where I'll be really unhappy or really just like stressed or whatever and my brain will put that emotion into a box and shove it into a corner and i won't even process that that's the case but i keep adding to that box and eventually starts overflowing and then like eventually gets to a point where i'm aware of it but i still just ignore it because it'd be a lot easier to ignore it than deal with it and then it overflows and then i have a mental breakdown and so I'm trying to be better with that and trying to be like, yeah, I know I'm really ha not happy right now. And I'm very stressed and I'm very tired. And I've been here before and I went way too far with it last time. And so I'm trying to like be better with it and trying to give myself the time I can to quell the voices in my head, you know. Otherwise, it'll implode and definitely have been places i wish i never was because of doing that so i'm trying to definitely be better with it uh man i had a good setup and then i fucked it i cried yesterday over the thought of getting a new router i get that feeling yeah, I'll, that's, that's usually how it goes for me, is I'll be like, I'm perfectly okay. I'm perfectly okay. I'm still perfectly okay. I'm kind of not okay, but I'm not going to worry about it. 
you know what, I'm really not okay, but you know what, it'll be fine, surely things will get better. And then, and then it's just like, and then the minor inconvenience happens, and then I mentally break down, or, or, someone like, very heartfelt asks like, are you okay? Like, just like, just like, like a genuine, not like, hey, how you doing? Like, whatever, just but like a genuine, like, eye contact, are you okay? And then I just break down. So those were those three words can just kill me if I'm in that like if I'm in that overflow point. We're here if you need us, foo foo. Man, I wouldn't even know where to begin with any of that stuff. I just I, I keep that stuff for the most part on my own now. Most of the friends and stuff I used to talk to about it, you know, I don't really talk to that much anymore. And the last thing I'm gonna do is like message them out of nowhere and be like, hey, I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> so I just kind of deal with it on my own at this point. Uh, we're gonna go with the dragon tile, I guess. My mom has her own on sec. I'm multitasking out. Uh, I'm streaming and I go over yesterday. Thank us. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do it. And then more times I like to admit when someone asks me if I'm okay and I just break down. Yeah, that's the that's the magical the magical trigger for me right there. Especially when they say it in like a certain way too, like not like, "Hey, are you okay?" And it's just like at that point, I'd be like, "Yeah, sure, I'm perfectly fine. I could, I could bullshit you, right?" But it's like when they genuinely look at you like, "I care. Are you okay?" And then it's just like, "I'm right, goodbye, goodbye. I'm dead. I'm on, I'm on the ground right now. <laughs> I'm on the ground. I'm crying." <laughs> I remember there was a one point like things were just so bad and so out of my control that like there was literally nothing I could do and I just literally sat there and I was sitting with a group of friends and I think we were all hanging out and there was a moment where I, I don't know I guess I like disassociated and I just kind of like zoned out and just got out of that situation mentally I was just like zoning out staring at staring into the abyss basically and they were like, and someone like looked at me and then they were like, they got my attention and then they were just like, are you okay? And I just looked at them blankly for a second. And then I just, I, I proceeded to like literally cry. And I think I like ended up just like laying in one of my friends like laps. I laid in her lap for a while, just like crying. And like, I was like, I'm so sorry, I ruined the hangout. I, just, I don't know what's going on and blah, blah, blah. Like for like a good, like 40 minutes. And then I just kind of like laid there and I think I passed out and I think they did something else for a bit and then they came back with food and I was like, thank you for the food. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was the moment. It was a really bad moment, but that was like, I was in a, I was in a bad relationship and shit at that time. That was a really, really rough. Still in my uh, sucking up to everybody era. Now I have different issues that are less related to that and they're more out of my control than ever. But and that's why I can't like fully be upset about them. Like I I can be like emotional about it, but I also can't like fully invest in like bothering to vent or bothering to what the hell is this tiny ass little gremlin? Um I I um I can't fully invest in like spending the time to be like, I'm gonna vent to somebody or really talk to somebody. Um uh one sec brain work um be, just because it's stuff that's out of my control so it's kind of like one of those things where it's like if i talk about the things it's like there's not going to be anything productive that you are going to tell me that you can that can possibly change it because it's like oh okay uh, let's talk about like the job situation well i've applied a bunch it's like what are you going to magically do about that you know and it's like i'm not going to sit there and be like yeah give me give me three thousand dollars so i can pay my rent you know what i mean like it's like that's you can't help me with that and then it's like, you know, anything else that's going on, you know, any relationship issues or anything like that. It's like no one can control that or fix that. And then the advice somebody would give me would be things that I've already considered. So I just kind of got to the point where, like, I don't bother really talking too much about any specifics, even to close friends. Because it's just like, it just ends up being people really trying to be helpful, but they can't do anything. So then it just becomes me kind of coming off as being, what's the word? like. As coming off as dismissive to their input, right? Because then they're they're sitting there going, "Well, why don't you try this? Have you tried this? What if, what about this? You know, you could do this, or you could just distract yourself with this, or you could take up a new hobby, or you could 
do this or like have you tried doing this and then at that point i'm just like yes yes i've done that yes that and then it just either gets me frustrated and upset or it makes them feel like they can't do anything and then they're helpless and so it just doesn't i don't like that i don't like i don't like making people feel invaluable because I, I appreciate the input i appreciate the people going out of their way to try and remedy a solution but without literally giving up their like left leg they're not going to actually solve it and it's just like and it's just like and i couldn't ask that of somebody even if they could provide that right so it's like it's just like i i just don't even bother at anymore really i just i'm much quicker to just be like eh, i'm okay or i've been better or whatever like uh, it's, it's the easiest easier way to go about it like i'm not bottling it up to the point that i'm in like a dangerous position but i'm also not going to sit there and be like i'm depressed because it's gonna go absolutely nowhere um with delving into the inner workings and machinations of that i feel like i'm awkward when i come for people but i will listen and i will talk to you if you need a distraction i mean that's at this point that's like oh shit uh that's like honestly like the best thing that anyone can do at this point is just be like a living distraction that's one thing that's been really nice with streaming is like you know all of it aside the kindness and everything all that stuff like that's great but like just having people to talk to and having like a time of my day dedicated to not thinking about it is is like good enough really most of the time there are times when i get off a stream and then like reality immediately hits me and then i'm just like dead on the ground but um i'm at least able to fake it till i make it for three four hours a night and then just kind of like you know at least have that those three four hours of peace you know what i mean and the more people are interactive the more people are you know around and doing things the more that i can uh flower in that temporary uh solace but yeah god sorry i did not notice it as you <laughs> why did you not notice See, I'm in a good position now, which means that I'm going to lose horribly. This is how these matches go. I'm going to die now. Uh, that is why my brain has to be stimulated at all time. Because if not, then I start to think, yep, exactly. That's why even when I go to sleep, I'm playing like YouTube videos or live streams or something like that. Um, because if I am left in silence... I am not going to have a good time because there are a lot of very, 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 very dark things in my mind. Um, and so I, I, keep, I keep that at bay as much as humanly possible with music and something. There always has to be sound. I cannot, I cannot sit, like even outside of mental health, I cannot stand sitting in like a perfectly quiet house. Like if I'm home alone and no one's around and like nothing's happening there's no tv there's no uh no music no whatever i i go insane man it's just it just feels eerie it feels weird noise noise is how i get my like social my social battery filled i guess is what you could you could put it that way it's like if i'm not hanging out with people or actually talking with people just hearing people talk and interact and stuff on like streams and YouTube videos and stuff is like kind of enough. And I need that. And then also, yeah, it keeps the voices at bay. Uh, man. I need like a, a two or eight of the pin tiles to kind of transition into something here. I mean, I could go for a four as well. Actually, this three, eight, mm, 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 I don't know, actually. This is not a good situation, I don't think, to ban. There was a few days where my TV broke and I was in my room and having... Oh, fuck. Uh, I was in my room and like having streams open was not enough. I literally had to listen to music while I watched stream. Yeah, no, I get that. I'm very, I'm very much in a, in a similar boat to that. I am very much like that. Even like when I'm like showering or something, I'll like sing or talk to myself. Like, because, like, sometimes just playing music isn't enough, and just listening to the water isn't enough. So I'll just sit there, and I'll just, like, kind of, like, decompress. I'll sit there, and I'll just be like, okay, so, like, today I need to get to go and do this, blah, 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 I need to blah, 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 and I'll just have, like, a fucking conversation with myself, just so that there's, 
some some yeah shower thoughts yeah i'll just kind of have those moments just to kind of keep myself engaged because if i sit there long enough it's going to be a bad time There have been times when I've definitely tried to just exist in the silence of, of things and people have found me like very, very not okay <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> so it's like I definitely have gotten into the habit of like out of any time, regardless if it's like sitting in my room, trying to sleep, trying to shower, whatever. Showering is like the key, like key, like keep my brain going because you were just like you're hostage in that situation, right? That's a situation you can't get out of. And so, like, it's very big to, like, keep my mind busy in that situation. At least, like, being in, like, a public space, you have, like, people that might interact with you or uh, TV or something like that. But in the shower, it's a very independent situation. This is a, there's a double way I could win here. I could win with two different tiles here. I could win with a one or a red dragon tile. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want the win. Need the win after these emotionally heavy conversations. I want the win. Let's go. Plus, I've been losing. Give me a win. Mm, that's not the right one. I got excited for a second. Come on. Come on, you guys don't need your red dragon tiles, man. You don't need them. They're trash. They're trash. I don't need them either. So just, you know, it's safe. Just play it. Just play them. Just play them. It's okay. It's okay. Play it. It's fine. It's fine. No one's looking. Just play the tile. Man. I gotta be like this. Man, I'm upset. This might be an odd thought. We love odd thoughts in here. Uh, one 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 seven two four seven nine E S N G. This is this is a bad hand. What the hell has been delivered upon me here? That's some hot garbage. Oh boy, what is this? But like when I see the modeling tiles, if I look at them too long, I start thinking they look like small rectangle cakes. They want to eat the mahjong tiles now? Oh yeah, I'm blocking the tiles with the music thing. Should I move the music thing? Should I move it like... Like here? About there? There we go. Or I could put it on like my chest, I guess, but it's okay up there. There's not even a player up there right now. So you can enjoy your cakes here. I mean, the music bar wasn't really an obstruction, but if that's better for you, Foo Foo, I mean, it's better here, no? Like, I mean, I guess you could still see the numbers, I guess. Like, also, like, do this. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hide while I drink water. So I don't break. Mm. Okay. Um, mm. All right, Kyoko. Um, ne Nora. Um, man, I don't like this hand. I'm wholly expecting one of these guys to just nuke me for like 25k in this next turn. 
I'm I'm like my whole my whole ass is ready for it. Like it is it is it is completely ready for inevitably getting railed by whatever is about to happen. Man, this is a really bad setup I have. A little bit better. Mm, I Ray! Thank you for the hydrating. I just took a sip, but I'll I'll do it again. Your ass is ready for it, always ready for it. Lubed and prepared. Okay, let me drink. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> hey, as I slurp that down real quick, because my turn was coming fast. <laughs> I don't need the montile. Uh oh. Oh. Good job. Good job. Thank you. No one got anything that round. But I win. Because no one contested me. Winning. I love Lucky Star, yes. A big furry booba screen right there. It is very good. What is this? Why is this glowing? I got an Achibo. The new song. Adjust the lobby music in the background setting for midsummer. Complete 1,000 East games. All these so squares make a games. circle. All these, All these squares, squares make, make a, circle. a circle. All these squares make a circle. Um. Same. You know, I'm going to change this KO one to the pink. Actually, the blue, and then we'll make this go blue too. And then we'll make this go to the witch book. And then we will make... Uh, uh, we'll make the board... The board can stay that. My tiles can go... They can stay the same. Base tiles I wish I could change. I thought I got music. But I didn't see anything else in the Richie one. Or was it, was it not a dorm thing? Was it a main menu thing? Oh, it's one of these, right? Yeah, there's a new menu song. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, which I don't even have music enabled right now, so that means nothing. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. These are my friends. Oh yes, they are. Wait, who's who's Zyroy? I don't remember who that is. But these two. Look at look at look at these default motherfuckers. They don't got they don't got cool skins like me. Look at look at all my fancy skins. Wow, I could be a literal Shiba Inu. Or I can be a little lolly. Or I could be a, I don't know what you would call that. Kimono, I guess. I got, got like a bunny fortune teller girl. Got a, I got a daddy. Got a jock guy. I got the defaults. I got a bartender. Um, child. H handsome boy. And then edge lord. So this fits me. <laughs> if I play Wanjiro, my hand actually is um, a Paul. I like I like Anju too. Yep. Let's uh play, let's play Hideki for a little bit. Not that that changes anything other than the aesthetic, but why not? Like nobody plays the south configurations. Everybody's in east. Can I look at the higher rooms? I can't even look in the higher rooms. That's how much of a noob I am. I can't even peek in there. That's crazy. I also wonder if this is online, as in there's 2,790 people in general, or if there's like 2,000, 
790 rooms. I like how that guy was just a child. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, what, Shoda, I guess? But that's basically the same shit. <laughs> it's saying the same exact thing. Granted, I guess lolly is exactly the same connotation, but still. I think I'm going to play this. Change this music playlist in. I need a different vibe. Yeah, let's 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 shake it up a little bit. Um, can you not make it my turn? Thank you. Mm, can you not make it my turn? Thank you. Um, I know it's a little late, guys, but I kind of want to listen to my emo boy music. And I kind of want it in there. Plus, it also, you know, helps with the voices. Um, what playlist? What's in this playlist? That's all Japanese music. That's all Japanese music. This one, I don't even know what is in this playlist. What is this playlist? What is this playlist? I don't know what this one is. Uh, two, three, four, five, seven, five, uh, get rid of the nine. Hey, everybody want to jump in this one? Sorry if I ask at the wrong time right now. Uh, let's see. Try to, oh, it's my turn. Ooh, let me go. I need this is Dance Gavin Dance Radio. Is this literally just Dance Gavin Dance though? It is just Dance Gavin Dance. I don't want that. Um if it's a mix of DGD though, that would be cool. Uh this playlist on um, yeah, and then we will get rid of this five, so um Ooh, this one's one's bad. Yeah, let's play this playlist. Different type of music, guys. Uh, two, three, four, seven, eight, eight, nine. Um, hmm. Ooh, Kayla. As long as it's as long as it's not me, that's that's all that matters, you know. That's not too many points either. But enough to keep me a little comfy. Where's Capybara? Oh, wait, my turn. Where's Capybara? No, it's too sheep. I thought it was. I was excited. No, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I wanted a capybara. Um. I need to like, I need to redo my nails, man. My hands feel too like <laughs> plain right now, I guess. Oh, I should have actually taken that one because I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, double eight. Oh, that would have been actually really good. I got too focused on my nails. <laughs> oh God, now she's in Richie. Damn, aesthetics over productivity here. Damn, that's crazy. Hmm. I will get rid of the east tile because there's already two down. Worst case, I can get two and then use a double, so I'd rather not. Scissor both in Michi. I'm going to get rid of the white dragon tile. Don't nuke me. Thank you. I don't need this tile. 
I mean the montile. Nope, is this gonna Ooh, nope, never mind. I should be safe with that tile. Do that. Um scary actually. It's very scary. I'm like walking on two landmines right now. I'll take a sumo. I'll take the split. I'll take the split damage there. Especially if she doesn't have anything crazy. Never mind. She has a little she has a little bit of points there, but flip between the both of us, I think it just kind of evens out the board a bit. It did it did hit me the hardest though. Oh boy, um, my mom tiles always suck, man. <laughs> Are they like less? It's not, it's an equal amount of tiles, but I never get mom tiles, man. I feel like I'm just always playing so in pin tiles, especially pin tiles. This game just is like, nah, man, you're, you're a pin main. <laughs> this is, this is, this is your, uh, your main tile here. Let the world be known how to defeat me is just to never feed into pin tiles. Apparently. Like, I want to go for the one where you can have, like, uh, a sequence of each face. But then I never actually have, like, the mon tiles to, to compensate for that. And so it ends up not really ever being worth it, unfortunately. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'll adapt to this, so this is going to be getting rid of that mon tile again. Um, if I can get a double in the sew, that would be really, really cool. That's not a double. But that does put me in a position to get one more sequence going. If I can get a two so or a six so, that'd be really great. A four, that works. However, still not a good position to be in. Because I do not have a complete Yaku right now. And unfortunately, the easiest Yaku to have are no longer in play. She is in Ricci, which means she is dangerous right now. Which is a less than favorable reality right now. Um, I think I'm just going to get fucked here. They are discarding a lot of so tiles, so I could... Try to focus on getting rid of any so that I see. And hope that that at least keeps me safe from eating a giant Ron to the face. Because I can accept a sumo, but a Ron would be really bad. But it keeps giving me so tiles, so this is kind of keeping me safe. Now it gave me a pin tile and I'm less happy. We're still okay. Okay. I'm at least safe from getting nuked. We all have Tenpai, no points move. I'm still in last place, so it's not necessarily a good thing. But, um... Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, we could do as well. So I could get rid of five, go for six, seven, one, two, three. We got double three here. I'd really like, this person disconnected, I don't know why. Um, I thought that was a rage quit though. That was kind of just random for them to disconnect. Might be that they closed the app or something. Got a call. Lost internet. Whatever. Nonetheless, that's unfortunate because now we have to wait for their full idle timer to go down. And then if they do come back, they're going to have no, no, uh, spare time. They're going to have to go off of five seconds every single time. Thinking is not going to be an option for them. Uh, six, seven, eight. Three, three, six, seven, east, west, white. Um, I don't need Mon. I don't play with Mon, clearly. Like, what is this? What, what is that? I don't know. No clue. 
I have no idea what these tiles are. Um, I'll get rid of this one. Crazy. The trend just continues of me not playing with Mon, man. <laughs> it just doesn't end. That you're good at. Oh, why me? You don't have to do that. There's a bot here. Just attack the bot. Just, I'm not here. I'm already losing. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to kick me while I'm down, man. That's crazy. Is that the end? Yeah, it is. Good though, because uh, man, all the bots are bots are even more hard to <laughs> gauge what the hell's happening half the time. I do like these East matches though. Not the East matches, but the. Uh, the three person east, because it definitely does actually go by a lot quicker than uh it did otherwise, which is very, very nice. Getting through this quicker is definitely a blessing. Cause the fours take a while sometimes, especially if you get like four people who are actually like trying to use 10% of their brain compared to my 0.5% of my brain. Or kind of just unga bunga. And I think my stats, it literally is just like speed and luck. <laughs> hey, why did that not? Oh, there's a, there's a notification. Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome in Raiders. Hi, Kieran. Hi, Raiders. How's everyone doing? How are you enjoying the stream? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Copyright mania. I appreciate you. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're playing some tiles. We're, do we're doing tiles over here. Hope everyone is doing well and had a good time with the jiggly one, the jiggly bouncy lad. How are you doing, Kieran? Was it a good stream? Did you make progress on the frames of war? I believe you said you were doing the next quest line. We, in fact, had a good time. Good. Very good. I'm glad. Slime is always good company. I'm glad everybody had a good time with that. And I, I love that. But I think that rolling one is like the best emote ever. The best one. Dark, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hello, hello. Welcome in. We are playing the nice tile game. Thank you both for sharing your communities with me. I hope you guys are having a great time zone. Uh, yeah, lots of progress, still learning everything. Uh, had a lot of people helping me through, through the quest line or just through like other, other facets of, uh, of it. I think Fallout 4, I have not finished Fallout 4. I need to. I, I really need to. There's no excuse for me really not to. I did think about streaming Fallout 4, but, uh, wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if people would even want to see that, to be honest. Me playing like a Fallout or uh, Elder Scrolls game. I wasn't sure. Uh, double raid, high raiders, yes, double raid. Awesome people here. Thank you, thank you for coming in. Let me one sec. Let me let me brain for one sec. Okay, cool. Um, after the quest line, we did index and made some money. Oh hell yeah, index is nice, easy money. I remember back when it used to be a problem for me, and then I got my hands on um, Ildren. And it became really easy since, like, the whole, like, limited energy thing was really rough. But then the fact that she has infinite energy because of her mechanics with uh, her shields. I just would always cheese it because they couldn't kill me and I could always, like, nuke them. Good times. But yes. We're playing some Mahjong for those of you here. If you have any questions or want to know anything about Mahjong, 
feel free to ask. I'm by no means an expert. I am baby, but I can definitely try to help you in understanding a little bit better as to what's going on. As everyone's emoting and I'm scared because these two are plotting. They're making plotting faces, anxious faces, very emotive. Muscle Mommy is who I am working on with the circuit this week. Oh, hell yeah. Muscle Mommy is great. She's very strong. And there is actually a way I could show you to build her that makes her easily capable of carrying you through high-end content. Not that you need to go that route, but there is a there is a pretty fun route you can go. I'm currently in a bad position with this hand, chat. We are probably actually going to get decimated, but... I can try to... Never mind. I got I got decimated. Actually, that's not many points. I'm fine with that. That is that's barely anything. That's a that's a that's a drip in the water. I'm fine with 1,300 points lost. If I win this round, we win. I definitely need to. Wait, one sec. Let me look at my hand. Okay. Uh, I definitely need to look at builds now. Starting to struggle a bit. Um, Kita, get rid of the nine. Um, starting to struggle a bit and need to spend time learning things. Yeah, I could I could I could teach you. You know, I'm a walking encyclopedia when it comes to Warframe. I sure hope I am after playing since beta <laughs> and having every frame. I have, well, like, you know, there are things I'm still learning, especially with the new, newer um, Archon and uh, Galvanized mods. I'm getting used to incorporating those in my builds because those were not on the table back in the day. I'm going to understand nothing about Mahjong. That is perfectly fair. It is an incredibly complicated game. I was saying to chat earlier that it is a game that I think is very approachable for entry. Because um, I think at the very basic level, Mahjong is on the difficulty par of checkers. But then, once you start trying to learn the different win conditions and going more on the offense with the way that you play Mahjong, then we're talking chess. So it has it's, it's pretty interesting because you get that kind of like... A kind of comfy introduction to the game and then the game starts getting a lot more complex from that point onward so it's approachable for new players but then it becomes something that you can truly try to master and kind of make your own from that point onward which i think is a really really cool and unique thing that a lot of kind of like games like this do not have because you know checkers is what you never you never get better at checkers <laughs> you just you know end up getting that edge over whoever you're against but this is a game that has that kind of entry level of checkers, but then the scaling of chess. So. Sumo, I don't know. She doesn't have any modifiers, so it might be another small hit. It's another small hit. And it's spread between the two of us, and I took the smallest of the hits. So, yippee, I win. <laughs> Very nice. Y'all raid into a win. Let's go, chat. <laughs> Could have been any of the horrible losses, but y'all came in on the win. I'm going to say that you guys were the lucky charm there, so I appreciate that. I'm not yet um, used to mods doing everything they do now. That's true, yeah, because back, back in the day, mods were basically just like, adds corrosive status effect to something, adds um, additional damage to something, but now it's like, oh... Adds sixty percent status effect and doubles the damage dealt by status effect. You know, like that kind of stuff. It's like that's crazy. Yippee! The Raiders brought in the luck. Hell yeah, they did. And thank you for the congrats, Clyre. Uh, Raiders luck, absolutely. Bringing the fortune, Kami luck. Who would have thought? It is an honor to have everyone here, and I appreciate that. We nice cozy, cozy stream. Oh, look at all of us with skins. Like I've I've hit the I wonder if I've hit the MMR now that everybody just has skins now. Because for a while there I was only battling people who were using default. Now I get a nice spread of people having some nice gotcha luck, or at least caring about the gotcha system. <laughs> Whether they did so by throwing down two hundred dollars or whatever. I will say that the system in this game, though, for Gotcha, isn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, there are a lot of characters that are kind of hard to get, but it's actually kind of nice 
because for one they do have separate banners for both male and female characters and so if you are someone who only wants like the cute guys and you don't want the girls you can go on the banner for the guys and the you know the same for the females um on top of that um there i mean this isn't necessarily a good thing but there's not too many guys right so the odds of you rolling in the guy banner and getting someone that you actually want is actually pretty high, which is pretty cool. Um, and it seems like you get like a character every single time you did it do a tenfold. Um, and then every time you do those rolls, there is also like a currency you get. And when you have 150 of that currency, you can actually just outright buy one of the characters. So that's pretty nice, too. So like you can kind of fail and guarantee a character. And I wish more gotcha games or games that have gotcha systems had a kind of pity system implemented like that that you could go and um just outright purchase a character after rolling enough like imagine if honkai or genshin or something like that had the ability for you to just keep rolling on a banner you get your normal pity you get your normal whatever but then like after 200 rolls you just really did not get the character you want and then you just spend 200 of that stored currency to just outright purchase the character you want. Like, even if they made it a high number, even if they made it three, 300 rolls, you know what I mean? Just guaranteeing that you're able to roll one, especially in those kind of games that require you... Not require, but it's more favorable for you to get duplicates of those characters. Because it wouldn't de-incentivize you to roll. In fact, it would probably incentivize people who are less encouraged to roll, to roll more often. I think personally, I would feel more inclined to roll on every banner if it meant that I was working towards the points to then just outright purchase characters. Granted, you then would have people who would just roll all the time. New banner would come out and they'd spend a copious amount of points purchasing duplicates of that one character and then just having like a super powerful character, which they're not competitive games. So I guess who cares? But on the other hand, they could limit that. They can make it that you can only redeem, like, one of those characters or something like that. I don't know. There's ways it could be implemented to be healthy. And thank you for the stretch and posture check, Crystal. Uh, let me let me kita here and get rid of a 8 tile, and then I'll stretch. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we do not need the 7 pin tile. They added a little music ticker in the bottom because uh, people were curious about the song. So I hope that is useful to you guys who rate it in. If you're vibing with any of these songs, you can go check out the respective artists and uh, give them their support on whatever media platforms. They should all be on Spotify and YouTube and all that stuff. So This song I love a lot. It's a good one. A good, uh, I mean, not a, <laughs> not a good, but like a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different type of uh, breakup song. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like the way they they use the lyrics for it. It is a vibe. I did think about like halfway through this stream switching over to reading some like creepy pasta stuff, but since I mentioned that earlier, but I'll I'll reserve that for another time because I definitely think I want to like disable the sound alerts. Just because, like, at least the sound alerts that are non-raid, like, raid-related and follow-related. Because I think sitting there and, you know, talking about the, the dark and creepy hallways and monsters are coming and blah, 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 blah. And then just being like, who, who ordered all these fucking anime titties? Would just be, like, the, we <laughs> the weirdest moment. It could be a funny moment, don't get me wrong, but it definitely would be kind of mood-killing. The monster grabs up their neck and then just all these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. What was those points, man? Ow. What the hell? She sat on that. She was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make y'all hurt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you real good. Kita, Kita, four. Get rid of this four. I was mean, and thank you for the pets. I was really, really mean. This person rage quit. 
<laughs> she got hit with that and she was like, I'm done. Goodbye. She DC'd. She said goodbye. Not today. See, this is still winnable, though. That's the thing. Like, it's unlikely, but it's possible. Is that you leave? Oh, Kira, that is awesome. They have an excellent one. I love that. Yeah, they just dipped. They just dipped, man. I will never understand people rage quitting on Mahjong, man. People rage quitting on a lot of these games doesn't make sense to me because they also always... They, they almost always count as a loss anyways. And so it's like, you might as well try to win. Even if you end up losing, because like... There's a chance there's a chance you can win, but you're guaranteeing a loss if you leave, if you leave. Also, this is a very bad hand. Oh well, not very bad, but it's not good. I don't have a Yaku, which is a uh, win condition right now. People can't just take the L. I mean, I guess they do technically just take the L. They just can't take it with dignity. That's why games like Dead by Daylight and stuff just have such like prominent disconnect stuff. Which I'll never understand because usually like a lot of the games you don't get anything out of leaving early. You just take the L. Like speaking of Dead by Daylight, it's like you get you get points, right? You get you get blood points even if you lose. So people who leave, I'm just like, so you're deciding to either way take a loss but also get nothing out of the time that you invested in the match. Like, I'm just like, what? I'm like, man, that, that would make me feel like I wasted my time. And that's the one thing I don't like doing is wasting my time. So it's like, man, I would definitely be sticking through it. I don't know if there's any, like, real penalty to just disconnecting during this game. I don't know if they have, like, a, like a, like a Q penalty or anything like that. I've never tested it, and I haven't run into the situation where I've accidentally run into it, so... I don't know. But it just it seems silly to me to quit on that thing. I think just timing out... Yeah, that, that's fair. Also, yeah, if anyone ever wants to, like, play this and learn this and stuff, we can actually, like... I can make a private lobby. And actually, have you know, set the timer to, like, 300 seconds a turn or something like that. And actually be able to explain it better than my quick little rambles or situational commentary. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to wait because this person technically needs to confirm and the bots don't auto-confirm. So we gotta wait for the timer to uh, disintegrate. Which is always a fun thing. Mm -mm -mm. I love that exit emote. You know, that's actually, you know what? That's that's a, that's an emote I should steal from you, Karen. I was wondering what I needed for my, like, animated, like, ones. And I can only come up with, like, three decent animated emotes. And that, that, that actually is one that I could use. Steal it from you. As, as if you own a patent on it. But, like... <laughs> but, like, yeah. I definitely, definitely need to think of some more. Because I don't have a single animated emote right now. Man, I don't know, man. I'm gonna get rid of this. Do you like my my play mat? My cute my cute Patronus over here. Basically. And my cat ball, whatever this is. This cute this little cutie over here in this corner. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? I love that combo. And I just imagine me shielding myself with inside that blanket to be like, please stop licking me. <laughs> Con. Uh, and then we'll do... Uh, man, I don't know. I guess I'll go throw that away. I mean, at this point, this is definitely a, like an all-around loss. I, I'm probably just going to get like shit on by this bot. This bot's going to come out of like nowhere like, last second. And just like... Send me to Jesus. These are cute too. Oh, the little pop, little pop, 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 pop. That's that is cute. That is very cute. I agree. Okay, so I can win this round if I draw into one of these. 
but I'm in Furiten, which means that I essentially can only win by drawing into the tile myself. So, like that. Um, normally you can use other people's tiles, but that was an, in an instance where I can only, only do it from my own hand. I'm at least securing my victory over the bot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about all I could do at this point. Nine terminal initial draw, progress next. Uh, kita, kita. We'll get rid of the three sip tile. These are, these are some good ideas. I don't know if I'll be licking people though. I don't know about it. Actually, mm, I did actually think about getting a lick one. Actually, that is that is true. There was at one point when I thought about that. I was like, do people really use an emote of me licking something? I'm like, is that is that a thing? Like a slime doing it? Yeah, sure. Y'all eat whatever. Why would a commie be licking things? Man, I shouldn't have looked outside my window. It's snowing. Oh, God. That's either a good thing if you have no plans for tomorrow or a horrible thing if you're working or something. Um, We'll get rid of this six. We have two fives in the sows and uh, two nines as well. We have a four now, which means I could build into that. So I'm going to get rid of the four here. And then we're going to get rid of the one here. And we'll stick with this. I have Ricci, which means that I can get into a win condition now. And now the game will play itself, essentially. Until I potentially win. Um, I have a mighty need for democracy. Democracy. That is, that is a strong need, indeed. I just want to get to 50. I just kind of want to like have that victory lap of getting to 50 and being like, I'm there. Sumo! Um, I think I'm like 39, I think, where I'm at right now. I'm creeping up on her, but not enough that it's probably going to matter. I mean, I'd say let's play, but it would be like, I'd probably be done in like 40 minutes. I don't know if you're still going to be keen in 40 minutes. Oh, but I said keen. God, Garrett is like living run free. <laughs> He's the only one I know that says that. I think I am 19. I am still baby. I mean, that's fair. You haven't been uh you haven't been on much. No, I'm gonna crash here soon. I don't want to have to do it another time then. Uh get rid of this nine here. Alright, I'm in a win condition now. If I get a one of the mon tiles or a six of the pin tiles i win and i can do it from either their hands or my own drawing here that's an eight pin I need a one or a six one or a six um all in all though how does this mahjong work i'm a tad curious so mahjong at in its simplest explanation is um Building um, sequences, right? So, is this a win? Did I get enough points to win? I might have actually stolen the win there. I stole the win, guys. Let's go, chat. Let's go. <laughs> I was a hopeless situation. See, this person left. This person left, and I I came back from an impossible fucking situation there and won. Let's go. Um, but uh, Mahjong, essentially, yeah, is... um is building sequences. So at the very basic level, let me see. I think there is a demonstration somewhere here. Yeah, so for instance here, you wanna build like, so like for the Ricci condition, which is a situation which is a men's engine, which is means that you've never used anyone else's tiles, it's, it's closed hand, um, you build sequences. So one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, E, 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 and then a pair. You build four, Four triples and a pair. And that can be one of these win conditions, right? And that could be in any combination, right? It could be 222, two, two, uh, 666, six, six, whatever. Of the different ones, they can all be the same tile. They can all be the same whatever. Those are each independent different um, ways you can do it. We can also win stuff in situations with like all of the tiles being doubles or whatever. Like there's all these different conditions here depending on like what kind of points you want to go for, how many points you want to go to. 
um you know here four big wins you know getting all of the wind tiles and then a uh, some other type of pair because there's four different winds you know, of the cardinal directions so if you get three you know three of each of the winds and then just some pair that's a win condition right um but there are some instances where you can win with things a bit out of the norm um like for here 13 weight 13 orphans where you have the one nine one nine one nine, right? And this is like a really weird erratic thing. Each of the winds, each of the dragon tiles, and then a one, right? This is like a really weird one. But like the easiest way is definitely just to go for the sequences. Just go for either something in sequential order, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, um, or triples, right? Four, 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 and then a pair of some kind. And that fundamentally is the basis for mahjong is the four sequences, the four trios of something, either in sequence or of a triple, and then a duo pair. And then everything from there stems off of that. Kind of similar to poker, exactly similar to poker, yes. Yeah, this is, this is, this is literally just Asian equivalent of poker. So like, if you understand the basis of poker, you can kind of transition into Mahjong a bit. Um off of that and then it's just a matter of learning the rules however there's are some like kind of weird situations so like um let me let me just make a let me make let me make like a random room here i don't i don't really care um put some bots in here okay so when you have um there's like certain things that can also happen involving the map itself that you're on so when you're playing with other people and stuff right each of you are sitting at a cardinal location. Um, and so each of you are sitting at a certain card cardinal location. So I'm sitting at north right now. They're sitting at east, south, and west. So if I win with north tiles, north wind tiles, so th these but north, um, then I, in turn, um, can get bonus points for doing that. And then depending on the type of mahjong you're playing, so like if you're playing like east or south or whatever, there is a modifier known as the prevalent wind, which means that if you win with that designation of wind tile, you also get bonus points. So if you happen to be like playing uh, three player east, right, like we have been, if you win with three east tiles, right, you get a bonus because you are playing within the prevalent wind. But then you also can get a bonus if you are sitting at the east seat in the table too so you can get a bonus for being at the east seat and for playing at east one so it's also you can also gauge points based on how you're sitting and how people are set around the table as well um but also like the re otherwise it's very it's very 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 pokery but there's all, all kinds of extended like situations like that and different types of combinations and it depends on like what kind of modes you're you're like playing on to as well and some mahjong also have added gimmicks and stuff but this one's just very straightforward reachy mahjong so i feel like i just have to be thrown into a game and experience it to full grasp it yeah it, it's definitely something that like once you actually physically have the tiles in your hand and you have to make the decision to create these sequences and create these situations that it becomes easier to consume and understand but i think it's very easy fundamentally at its basis at uh, its basic level it's just once you start considering different yaku, different winning conditions, that it starts becoming a bit more complicated. Because then at that point, there's a lot to think about. And like once you stop being a defensive and reactive player and start being a little bit more offensive and going for um, adapting and going after the way that other people are playing, then it becomes even more complex because then you start reading the tiles that they are placing and trying to gauge what is safe for you to place because you don't want to feed into their hand. Right. Um, because when you place tiles down, so every turn you draw a tile. Um, you draw a tile at the start of every one of your turns and then you discard a tile, too. And when you discard a tile, it goes into a pile on the table and anyone else can react in that moment to then. Um, to then use that tile in their own way. Um, so like if I place down, so there, there's, there's three types of standard face tiles. There's the pin, the so, and the mon tiles. So if I place a three from the mon pile right in, and someone goes, hey, I want that, they can take that tile and use it in the sequence, right? And so you'll see them take like maybe the two, two, three, uh, three mons in their hand, 
and combine it with mine, it'll place it outward on the table in front of them, showing that that is now a completed sequence for them. Um, however, if you use someone else's tiles like that, you remove yourself from certain win conditions. So like any of these that say men's engine, any of these, this means closed hand. So if you do not, if you ever use anyone else's tiles to complete your sequences, you no longer qualify for any of the men's engine um, win conditions. These are no longer active for you. So you have to then adjust your strategy to go for another type of uh, tile, tile win. Um, and then um, if you are in a position of winning, if you have a Yaku set up that you can win, right? You are about to win. You need one more tile. You can win either by drawing into the tile and getting the tile you need and filling it out in your own hand. Um, and that would give you one type of win con condition known as sumo. And sumo would mean that whatever points you're supposed to earn from how, whatever combination that you got, whatever your points allocate up to, um, get subtracted evenly from all other parties. Under most circumstances, there are some caveats to that. Um, however, if you win off of the placement of someone else's tile that then completes your sequence, you eat the points directly from that person. And so you nuke them for all of those points, right? So if you're allotted 20,000 points for the combination of tiles that you have, you're eating 20,000 from them, or instead you are eating 20,000 split from among them. If it's an odd number, it usually takes it from the person who has the furthest from a victory. Um, or in some cases, the person who went right before you, if that's not easily attainable in that way. Um, and then there's also bonuses you can get for declaring Richie, which means that you're putting yourself in a position of like basically announcing that you are about to win. If you just set it and you win by the next cycle, like going around in the circle again, you get bonus points for that. But you do not get that bonus if it's the second time it goes around. There's a lot of different like th ways that points become manipulated, but the core representation and the core actual like playing of the game is approachable. But once you start worrying about optimizing your points and getting in a position where you are able to topple other players and be more offensive towards them, then the game becomes a lot more difficult. Um, and so, you know, and of course in a game like this, you have people who are playing it because they're like cute anime characters. And they're just like, haha, Mahjong. But you also have the people who probably are 60 years old and have been playing Mahjong for most of their life. And even though they're playing a cute little bubbly anime game, they are an experienced Mahjong player. Um, so it's like, it's very interesting because you get a very diverse group of people. Um, and the, the pools are the same. There's no, there's no independent servers. So you're playing with the Japanese people, you're playing with Chinese people, you're playing with Americans, Europeans, all of them. Everybody's in the same bucket. Um, and so you have all these different people playing, which is kind of cool. Um, and like, there's no, there's no chat or anything like that. You can't like talk to people, but you can do emotes. Similar to Uno in that regard with the announcement win and in the soul crushing win grabbing way. And yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah. Um, granted that's usually only during re the reachy win condition, which is this right here. It's when, when you can declare it. So it's when you're one tile off, right? So it's usually like, I would have one, two, three, four, four, four uh five six here and then i have maybe the three here and the two here so i need the seven right i've never revealed to you any of my tiles i've never used any of your tiles and at this point that i only need the seven i call richie and the moment that you play this seven or i draw into this tile i declare my victory right and if it's you that played it then i call ron and i hit you for all of the points if i draw into it then i call sumo and i hit everybody for those points is how it ends up being. So like, and then once you start going into all of these things, then there's more conditions and all these things. You know, you need all these different win conditions and stuff. Um, there are some instances where betting comes into play too, and you're basically exposing yourself to more risk um, for the chance of then receiving more points in the situation of your victory. So. It's it's a very it's a very basic game that opens up really quickly once you get down the basics. 
Um, and so it, it, it's kind of a, a little bit painful to some degree in this game because the pools for the matchmaking are rather large in some degree. Um, because how they have it, excuse me, how they have it separated is that there's two tiers in each room. So like the two earliest ranks are known as um, novice, which is what I am. I'm novice three. And then there's adept one through three, right? And bronze room shares the adept and the novice slot. And then silver shares the adept and I forget what the next step is, but they share they share a room together. But most people who are adept are probably going to play against um, novices because why would you want to play against people who are better than you on paper when you could play against people who are worse than you, right? Um, or at least in theory are worse than you. Um, and so sometimes it's a little bit unfortunate because you'll have people in the lobbies who are a little bit better skilled and the gaining and losing of mmr in this game is pretty harsh because if you place in last place you take a huge hit and you also get a huge gain if you win so like let's say you need 150 points to promote right if you win a match you get 40 points right if you lose a match you lose 40 or 50 points right and I think it gets steeper depending on how severe your loss is. And so, or, or victory. And so, like, but then if you're in the middle, right, if, in, this, in this mode, you lose, like, two points, right? And so it's very easy to kind of shift between the ranks. And the only place that you're safe is when you're a novice. You cannot de-rank to novice two. Like, if you're novice three, you're novice three until you get out of novice three. But then you can shift around and bump around once you're beyond that point. So... I, it makes me wonder if a lot of these people deliberately stay in Adept 3 just so that they never have to go against the people who are in the higher higher points. Welcome back from your nap, and I hope you enjoy your nuggies, Sarah. But uh, let, let, let's see, let's see. This person is a novice 3, so they're the same rank as me. And this person is novice 1. So these guys are actually within my bracket, right? But I've had... Most of my matches in the past 24 hours have been against people who are adepts. So it just happens like that. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're good. They could just have a streak of winning against people who are not that great. But they could be. They could be good. You know what I mean? So it's like sometimes it's a little bit painful. But I think it's smart just because the game isn't like so big that there's a million people. Like there's not people like foaming at the mouth sprinting to play mahjong like and she just yeah so she just called richie so she needs one tile to win and any tile that we place could be walking onto a landmine and any tile she draws could be her victory and there's only three more tiles in the pot so once that extinguishes then no victor is declared and anyone who has a step away from victory is qualified for some compensation they're really thinking. So no one won that round. However, I have 10 pi and so does she. So now we're both going to take a thousand points from this girl. Considering how people work sometimes, yeah, plenty of people do not want to face people who are better than them, which is understandable in a competitive setting. Absolutely. It doesn't feel good to be put up against people who are probably going to stomp you. But at the same time, then you're becoming that person who's stomping other people, which, you know, of course, people aren't going to care about that. But yeah, only way to get better and not stagnate is to face those better people. Exactly. And that's why so many people like, for instance, I play a lot of Hunt Showdown. And in that game, a lot of people will do a thing called deranking, where you go in as a solo player with a perk that allows you to revive yourself back from the dead. And every time you get downed, you lose MMR. So people will come in and they'll deliberately get downed and then they'll keep reviving themselves and dying immediately over and over again until they have no more revives and derank themselves, right? And then they Pikachu face when people are better than them. But like, they're not doing anything to get better. They're just staying with these babies, these baby players, because they keep deranking and not actually getting better. And it's frustrating and I hope at some point they fix that. But right now it's not seeming like an immediate focus, but we'll see. Um, shit, man. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is not the. This is not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. 
Um, so, as I was mentioning earlier with the positioning, right? I'm sitting in the east seat, and it's also prevalent east wind. So if I had happened to have the east tiles right now, I'd be in a very favorable position to get a lot of points from these guys. But I do not have the east tiles, and they have not been played on the field. So that means that one of them is hoarding the east tiles, probably. Or at least the majority of them. So there's an east tile, right? So they probably do not actually have a lot of them, because they only placed one. So the person who probably has the east tiles and is sitting on them right now is probably this girl over here. Xander, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Atomic. raiders. You are absolutely atomic. Thank you for raiding in. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. We are playing some Mahjong here. Some nice, comfy, post hardcore music and Mahjong. Um, I might get... Mm, I think it hit there. Minecraft. Very nice. Very, very nice. I haven't played Minecraft since we last played Minecraft. Oh no, so now she is getting me with Ron. So it means I'm going to take all the points that she's accumulated now. We're going to go all to me. She has three orphans, so I'm going to get hit really fucking hard. She was, she was saving up deliberately to do a big hit. Like that was, that was literally, the, this is the combination I was talking about earlier with the 191919 east, south, west, north combination. So now I am like, Basically about to get pushed out of this um, competition here. Um, but that, that's how it'd be. And then she's here gloating. But, um, um, but uh, this is a bad hand. It's a really bad hand. Um, a soul crushing, but understandable. Gotta win after all. Absolutely. Yeah, so she went she went for a situation where she actually manipulated like not manipulated, that's not the word. But she she well yeah, I guess manipulated, yeah. She she manipulated the her the tiles in her hand to specifically get her to a point where she could win like that. Um and uh you know she went for the maximum points, which not everybody does that. Most of the people I run into in this bracket, they don't go for win conditions like that. They literally just go like the moment that they see like any any movement, they're just like declare win. Anyway, sorry to raid and dip. I am deader than a doornail. That's been run over by a train, so good night. I sleep now. All good. Thank you for the raid. You have a good rest. You're by no means obligated to sit here. Get the rest you need. Hydrate up and relax and all that stuff. I love that she was doing like the equivalent of like teabagging <laughs> by like spamming like the aha kind of emote. I'm like, my God, relax. He went that good or else he wouldn't be in my bracket. <laughs> um, let, me, let me actually switch up the music a little bit. Not this playlist, but I don't want to listen to this one. I don't want this song. This one's good. This one's good. There we go. Her name, man. Um, their name, too, is very aesthetic, I guess. Um, I'm going to write in the one. So many raids here at the last minute here. That's pretty cool. It was a really, really calm night. And then chain of raids. I appreciate everybody for sharing their communities with me. And for those of you still, it's still just hanging out and enjoying some nice, comfy mahjong. Granted, I guess the contrast of Mahjong and people screamo screaming at you is it's a bit of a uh, juxtaposition. I was listening to nice, comfy, chill Japanese music, but after two and a half hours of that, I was like, eh. Eh. We also got in some heavy topics, and I was like, eh, I need, I need something a little bit more uppity. <laughs> I was about to laugh if we ran into her again immediately after. Yeah. See, this this girl here is, um, this is the default character. So there's her, and then there's, like, an orange cat girl. And you get her just by, like, finding up. <laughs> so we'll run into that character a lot. However, that would be funny if I ran into her again, and then I won, and then I could just be like, hee 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 hee, and just keep laughing. I could be that person, that petty person. You're like, you gloated? I can do that too.
Hmm. 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 This is kind of a mess of a hand. Not gonna lie. It's a really messy hand that is like walking on bombshells right now. Except when that happens. So now she is walking on a tightrope because either of us could now capitalize on whatever tile she places. You did a, you did adulting and did laundry. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I need to do a small load after this. And sumo. It is cool. Hmm, that's some good points right there. Nine K right there. Mm mm mm. Oh, so if you're wondering what my name means, it's Vending Machine, by the way. <laughs> I need to change it to uh, <laughs> Hifumi or Hifumi Sawa at some point. But uh, this is <laughs> this is my like name when I don't know what to name myself on uh, on things. So I just name myself the Japanese terminology for a vending machine. It's usually not taken, usually. And uh, it's funny. Yeah, I heard about, I heard about the... Uh, uh, what you call it? You're breaking up. I think you mentioned it to me. I don't know if I responded or not. But that, that was that was a, that was a fast turnaround, then. But uh, congrats, I guess. Um, six, seven, five. We'll pawn that. Goes to east. Get rid of the five here. Six, seven, eight. Now. Pawn that, and then we will go for the three here. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, we'll get rid of the aid here, because then it'll put me in the p position where if I get a 7 or a 4 of the pin tiles, that would be a win then. Whether that's from myself or from one of these guys. One so... One so again. Are you guys being smart and knowing what I'm doing? That was really weird that you both did so's there. Let alone the one so. That's fair, Sarah. That's how yeah, that's how it is with a bunch of uh, my friends as well. I want to get on to Gilgamesh, but it is Aquapado to the extreme. Aw oh, damn. This is a sumo and it's gonna split between all of us, but it never feels good being like one tile away from winning and then someone else declares it. Never feels good. Doesn't matter if they take 1,000 points or 5 million, you know, it's like, please. All right, but if I win this one, it's over. So we definitely got to pay attention. I'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of the white tile. We'll get rid of the three tile. Three salt. We'll get rid of this four. We'll get rid of the red dragon. That's fine. Wish I could get a Kita, but I don't think I'm gonna. She's gonna pawn again. Oh, she didn't. Sounds good. Sounds like a fair trade. You got him to play 14. Might as well try out Warframe and give him the benefit of the benefit of the doubt on that. One, two, nine, nine. Uh, I'll get rid of this, I guess. I'm kind of in like a mid situation right now. It's not the worst hand I could have, but it's also not the best I could have. I need them to play an East or a Green Dragon tile. That would be of the best interest for me right now. I think. Uh, why didn't I? Never mind. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to question that. We got this. South. Two. Get rid of another six pin. Do not. No. 
Wait, really? You needed that tile? Oh, apply to complete a sequence, right? She's placing on like a five or something. Damn, she's gonna... Yeah, she passed me. Damn, that last minute comeback. I was sitting comfy for a while. If she would have gone for her, it would have probably not been enough and I would have won that, but it's okay. It still didn't finish last, so I kept my MR. I actually got, I think, a bonus of three, I think. I think is what I saw. You get into matches really fast, too, which is nice. I guess that's the, the, the trade-off of them just being like, yeah, there's two whole brackets that you can get into a match with. Which, even though these are called ranked games, it's not as ranked as the tournament ones. Whoa, I've never seen her before. She's got a whole banner and stuff. I'm either about to get absolutely wrecked. She's at up three. With the same play style as me, so... Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on her. 456 Hmm. Let me get rid of the 1-2. Get rid of the one, two, three here. I think. I think that's the call to make. Then we have three, three, five, five uh, four, five, six. Uh, the west wind's not going to be worth it because I'm only going to be able to get one more because they've already played two of the tiles. We don't want to be careful with that. Um, I don't need one pin. She's getting all the north tiles, so she's getting a little bit of momentum. She has one too. I really don't want to get hit by their Rons. Um Ricci, get rid of the eight here. Now I'm in two two positions here for victory. We'll see if they play into either of the tiles that I need. We'll see. There it is. Sumo. McDonald's called to say there is something they didn't have. First time they call, usually they just refund me. Uh yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes they, they do that. I've had I've had places call with that kind of stuff. It's all I I prefer if they call over just refunding me. I'd rather have the the food that I'm waiting on be replaced than be uh um than not get my food at all, especially if you're waiting a while before they actually cancel it or refund it. Like I order food, I wait forty minutes and then you tell me that the order's cancelled. It's like I'd rather just you tell me like what I can replace the order with. I think that'd end up being better. All right, let's see. One, one, three. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the seven here. Two, two, three, six, six, eight, eight. This is not a good hand. That's not any better. I When I complain, game, we're supposed to, 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 to cater to me. We're supposed to cater into what? Different food is better than no food, yeah, right? I actually had a, I had someone mix up my order once, but in my favor. So like, there was a time that I remember I ordered from McDonald's, and I, I don't know, I got like a, I got like, let's just say like I got like a Big Mac and a fry and a drink, right? I ended up getting like someone else's order, but they ordered like food for like a family, and so when it got to me, it was like two Big Macs, four cheeseburgers, twenty nuggies, four fries three drinks and i was just sitting there like i paid like like 17 dollars or something like that for my food and i just got like 50 dollars worth of food and i complained that it wasn't my order and they refunded me so then it was free there was a part of me that was like i felt guilty that it, you know it wasn't in the hands of the people that it should have been but it's not like they can even take the food back after it's been in someone else's hand anyways so it was like haha I got a lot of food for free, which was really, really nice. It was a very happy little mistake. It's just only unfortunate when you get the wrong order and it's something you can't eat. 
luckily for me, there's not, I don't have any like food allergies or anything, only preferences. So for the most part, I can eat whatever I get. Will I eat everything? Nah, not definitely not. But if I'm ordering from a place, usually I'll eat almost anything on their menu. So mix ups aren't like the end of the world. Even if it is still sometimes disappointing because you maybe you were really looking forward to that specific meal, right? And you're looking for that specific food and then you get something else. Still sometimes kind of buns, but. Oh, that was a very nice mistake. Sumo. My food is here. Have an amazing stream. All right. Enjoy your food, Sarah. Thank you for stopping in. Ooh, that's some points right there. Put me further in lead so I can lose it all. <laughs> so I can lose it all to, to, to one move. Uh, the inevitable, very comfy lead that will turn into them both ronning me at the same time. Because that's something that can happen. They both can declare Ron on me at the same time. And both nuke me for independent value. So she could be like, ah, 12,000. And then she could be like 20,000. Then next thing you know, I'm beneath both of them and, and crying on the floor. So it is a possible reality. An unfavorable one, sure. But a possible reality nonetheless. Sorry for the flickering. All pawn. And then we will retire the nine year. We're really close to 750 followers. Very nice. We're six away, I believe. Very, very nice. Uh, let's get rid of the five here. We'll go for the five, six, seven, which will put me in a win condition to either get uh, one mon or one, one pin, which will be a win. If they play either of them, or I draw into it, that gives us an advantage. There, I drew it, so sumo. Very nice. Not many points, but... Puts me even further ahead. Uh... We'll get rid of the one mon because apparently I just don't mon tile. This hand's not as good, so I think this might be a, a round where they make a comeback. I'll get rid of this five. And we have two, three, four here. Five, six, six. So if we can get a seven in here, that'd be nice. Actually, let's get rid of the six. So now we have an opportunity for that. And open up your weary eyes. Uh, we don't need that montile. Yeah. Right of the south tile here. Um, atomic. Atomic. Mushi. Welcome in, Raiders. How you guys doing? Welcome in. How you doing? Hello, hello, Mushi. I hope raid went well. I hope everything was great. Hi, Corbu. Hello, hello. You were playing Raji and Ep an ancient epic. What's that? I have never heard of that. We are playing Mahjong, Mahjong Soul specifically, but tiles. We're playing tiles. Lots of tiles. How is it going, Raiders? I hope everyone is having a good time zone. Uh, so cute. I love I love your aesthetic so much, Mushi. I couldn't find my emotes. I don't know how to find them. How do you not know how to find your own emotes? How do you not know? Also, aren't they like prefaced with Mushi? So can't you put in Yes, your power of bear, Mushi. Your adorable gremlin energy. Yes, exactly. I aspire to be an adorable gremlin. She, one sec, sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, she needs Eepies and Sleepies. Ah, uh, the big Sleepies and Eebies. Stop, no why. What do you mean, no why? To what they said or to what my existence is? Yadi, hello. First time gamer in here. Hello, how you doing? 
you want to know anything about Mahjong, I could teach you. Damn, she had she had Tenpai, so they're just going to take points from both of us. Uh, this should transition it, though, over to the second yep, second thing. Clap, clap. I, I, I'm an adorable not gremlin. I'm a gremlin sometimes. Depends on what you feed me, and if you feed me past midnight. You need to teach me Mahjong, my ancestors are disappointed. My ancestors are pleased that I know Mahjong. And I could teach you. It's past midnight. Well, no one's fed me, so you know that the so far I'm 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 good because I I haven't been fed, so I'm not gonna become a gremlin yet. I used to play mahjong with my grand grand years ago. It is it is such a fun and relaxing game, but also could be so hyper competitive at the same time. It's a great juxtaposition of um situations. So Fumi is mahjong one one. Yeah, I mean I. Be fine with teaching people mahjong I, I said that it could be a fun like little community night we can all hop on i mean it's a free free game here so everyone can like make a little account i can get on teach people mahjong or i could just play against bots teach people and then if people feel confident they could play however they want to play i'm by no means an expert but i understand the game at the very least as I'm trying to multitask. The hardest part is trying to multitask con conversating, keeping an eye on my opponents, and then still playing my hand properly, because I've been me messing things up. Holy shit, apparently talking to, where I'll just be like, you know, talking about a topic, and then I end up like getting rid of the wrong tile or something. And then I cry in the corner because I got rid of the wrong tile. Someone has played oh an East God, one. He's so goddamn cool! Hey, Brainy, thank you for the gifted to Corbu. Thank you, thank you. 24 gifted subs total. Crazy. That's absolutely insane. Thank you very much, Brainy. And now Corbu is saved from the, the power of the ads, the, the allure, the pool of the immortal ads. Uh, we'll get rid of that. God, that's such a cute emote. No, I'm getting nuked. Don't be too much. Don't be too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ow. I mean, I'm still in the lead, but ow. Why you gotta stab me like that? I'm not one to talk since I've been, like, 60k ahead, but, like, ow. Isn't isn't their emotes so cute? They're so cute. I love their emotes. Everybody has such cute emotes, man. Like I love mine, don't get me wrong, but everybody's is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love seeing it. Oh my god. That is officially my favorite one. That is that has easily become my favorite. Richie. Okay, so she's about to win, potentially. And I'm about to get fucked up. Yep. <laughs> I was like, the moment that there was that pause, I was like, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she takes the lead. Oh no. Just like that. That's how easily your lead can get taken away. I had a. 40k lead on both of them, and just like that, it's gone. <laughs> okay, but I have to go now. Good Mahjong games. Thank you, thank you. You have a good rest, Mushi. Thank you for the raid and sharing your community with me. I hope you rest well. Just know that I'm in your walls protecting you. I'll get rid of this E style. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. It's amazing people. I'm glad everyone is here and having a hopefully comfy time.
with a nice combination of my emo boy music hours and uh Mahjong. The sound of tiles being placed in anime women talking to the uh to the sick beats of issues. Rieti. Hmm. I have eyes in my mouth. Mm. We're on repeat six, man. All right, now we're in all ass. So this is this is where it comes down to this, man. We got to make our stick against Fox Girl here, who crawled up from the ground. Palmlet, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. You are absolutely atomic. Welcome in. I hope everyone is doing good in their respective time zones. Mahjong, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. We are in the nice comfy Mahjong hours. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. I am just getting bombarded by your awesome support, people. Thank you. Welcome in. And for anyone who's here, um, I am Hifumi. I am Akami of Fortune. We are playing some nice cozy Mahjong, even though I am traditionally a horror streamer. I'm kind of on a binge of this, and I just placed the wrong tile. I clicked the wrong tile. I clicked the wrong tile. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I was like, click the wrong tile. I was in a win condition. Oh, no. I looked over as I was clicking. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Pain. Physical pain is happening. <laughs> Thank you for the follow and Undead Phoenix. Ah, man, that sucks so bad. I'm in another win condition now, but I'm in Foodie 10, so I can only win from drawing a tile into my hand, and I cannot draw a uh, win off of the draw of an opponent. Is that the RE4 uh, merchant for the uh, follow alert? Yes, it absolutely is. Yes. <laughs> My all my alerts are either horror related or uh like Team Four Star stuff. <laughs> Basically. Welcome in, welcome in. Absolute chat. I, I was I was thinking of putting more, but I was like, is it is there a point when there's too much of the merchant? Is that a is there a point to that? <laughs> is there such thing as too much of him? If there is, I haven't seen it. You know what? Fair enough. I'm no longer in Foodie 10. So if they place... Break! If they place the tile I need, they're gonna get messed up. Thank you for the hydrate. I will drink with my one hand while I keep clicking with the other. Thank you. Also, hey Arachnid, how you doing? Mm, okay, that wasn't me though. I at least still got second. We still got second, chat. Not another total loss. We had a, such a definite win, almost a definite win there, but it goes to show how much you can turn around the match there because we had a 42,000 point lead and Fox Girl over here came back and took that lead back. Uh, I am all right. Just got off of League of Legends. What you playing? We are playing some Mahjong Soul right now, which I you know for anyone interested in getting into mahjong it is a very approachable game ignore the booba or appreciate the booba that just happened um but um it is uh free to play it's on mobile you can play it in your internet browser as well and i believe if you are in the asian St like steam store like anywhere in asia you have access to mahjong soul as well um on steam as well but it is not on the u.s store unless it's changed recently if that's changed recently, I don't know. But it wasn't on the U.S. Canadian stores. So, the last I saw. The moment it is, if it ever is, I will install it. Because that's nice. Spartan, hello, how you doing? Welcome in. What is that, what is that emote? Oh, that's so cute! Ah, that is so cute, Spartan. I love that emote. That's adorable. Uh, it's super fun too. I play this a lot. I have been in like a back and forth relationship with it, playing it, not playing it for a while, playing it, not playing it for a lot. And I just recently kind of got into playing it again. And 
the addiction is strong. I actually have a redeem for 50k points, I believe, to just basically drop what I'm doing and play Mahjong. And for a bit there, I, wa I was like, I'm just going to play some Mahjong. And then um, people were like, oh, I'm saving up to get the Mahjong stream. And so then I pushed off for a while playing Mahjong until at least someone redeemed it once. And then, and then from that point onward, now it's just like, I'll play it more frequently. But if people come in and I, I don't know, they're not vibing with what I'm playing and they really want some Mahjong, they can redeem some Mahjong. And as long as I'm not playing a collab, I'm not going to abandon any partners in a collaboration or with friends or whatever. But as long as I'm not doing that, um, I'll drop whatever I'm playing and we'll play some Mahjong. Love doggo emotes. Oh, they're so good. Uh, no gotcha is free to play for me. I'm not allowed to play gotchas anymore. I mean, fair. That is fair. Even though this is the lightest example of a gotcha game, it is still definitely a gotcha game. It's still definitely... Wants you to have these nice, pretty characters. Um, awesome. Oh my god, live Spartan. Hi, cutie. Spartan is absolutely adorable, yes. Let's see. What we got here? I'll get rid of this. Yeah, I hope everyone is having a good time zone. I am having a great time playing. And your guys' support and sharing of your community tonight have been insane. So I appreciate that. For sure, for sure. A lot of new faces in here as well. And I hope you guys are enjoying. I could be at least remotely entertaining. Even, even if it's just a fragment. Even if it's just a piece. Entertaining. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the six here because I, I would need a seven anyways for that sequence. So for those of you in general who don't know Mahjong, uh, you can compare it a bit to um, poker. Uh, it revolves around I'm about to get smacked in the face. This is the match where I get fucked up. I had a good match last match. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get destroyed this match. Um, it is. Primarily, at its basic level, it's better poker, correct? Um, it is, ouch. Um, it is essentially building sequences and pairs. Um, so you're trying to build sequences and pairs of the various tiles you have in front of you. Um, so like having the 1, 2, 3 here and the 7, 8, 9 here and stuff like that. Um, it's, usu it's usually at the very basic level. You can have um, four, four trios and then a pair, and that is a win condition. Um, however, with this game, there is kind of like a um, a very interesting kind of skill ceiling to it, where I would say at a very entry level, learning Mahjong and learning the first like two or three Yaku, which are the win conditions, are is is very approachable. It's very it's very easy. I think personally, not to diminish anybody or anything that may have difficulty with it, but like it's pretty easy. It's like kind of checkers, early chess level difficulty. Uh, learning the very basics of Mahjong, but then as you go on and learn more about Mahjong, then it starts becoming more uh, difficult, more complex. Um, how am I doing? I am doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I am still kind of in a haze because I've only slept two hours, but I'm also at that point now where I've reached like a second wind, and I think even if I ended stream right now and committed to the idea of going to sleep right now, I would just be sitting staring at my ceiling, so... There are definitely some wind conditions you can learn easily and just focus on while you slowly learn the more complicated ones. Exactly. Because they're learning like all simples and Ricci and all that kind of stuff. Um, all pairs and stuff like that. Those are very easy, approachable wind conditions. Um, but then once you start trying to learn more of the wind conditions and even more importantly, learning how to be on the offense and trying to acquire as many points as possible to then oppose whatever point values your your opponents have um then it starts getting a lot more daunting and competitive and also learning to gauge what the other people in the match with you might be doing so it's time for me to drift off to dreamland all right pretty i appreciate you chilling with us and being an awesome mod as usual i hope you have a great rest Hello once again, Kyoko. How you doing? Rest well, rest well.
Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of this, I guess. Um, yeah, but that's, that's something I really like about Mahjong in particular, is the fact that I can sit here and spend maybe like an hour or two teaching somebody how to play, and they can understand enough to kind of start playing with me. Um, but then I can also go up against people who just do the craziest things, and then I learn from that, right? It's a it's a really cool kind of combination of the entry point to the actual skill ceiling of the game is really cool. Um, yeah, let's pawn that, and then I'll get rid of the nine here, and then we'll be. Kind of smell. What the? Like a baka. Kind of smell. Like Maybe I need to shower then if I smell like a baka right now. I'll make sure to shower right after stream so that I don't smell like a baka anymore. I always find myself going for some crazy uh, hakuman. It's such a trap. Yeah, it always feels good to go for those like super high point value situations. And then someone just like reaches in your face. <laughs> And it's just like, okay, never mind. I thought I was being cool. I was I'll build it up by like anime villain arc. And then someone comes in and wins with 2k. And you're like, wow, I was building up like a, a 30k point grab. And someone else just comes in and says, nah, okay. <laughs> just a little, little, little abysmal points. I got 13 orphans the other day. It was awesome. That is really good. I got hit with that actually, I think like three or four matches ago. And the person just kept like spamming like the laugh emote at me and I was like, wow, that's crazy. How rude. <laughs> like how rude. It was mad toxic. I was like, damn, I'm like, am I playing Mahjong or am I playing Overwatch? Like what's happening here? <laughs> I was like, damn. I can never feel insulted, though, by people that are toxic in video games, because if you have to gloat about a victory, that means that you don't get them often. Because if you won a lot and if you were good really often, it wouldn't be a new thing to you. Um, I'll get rid of this. Do you usually play three player? I am today. I usually play four. I usually play a four player East, but... I decided that I would play three today because it seems like it's a little bit quicker to get through so I can get through more matches. I'm good, very happy about all the new people joining the stream. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Uh, we'll get rid of the two here. Playing League when I was younger made me pretty immune to toxic multiplayer. Four player East is my jam. Yeah, that's usually what I play, but um, I've been enjoying I've been enjoying this for at least the the speed of it. Yeah, I I I'm. I'm pretty immune to toxicity and stuff like that. And it's usually just because, like, most of the time I don't need to, I don't need to think a certain way. I don't need to show people up. The fact that they're actually acting a certain way usually means that I'm already in position where I've won. It is like, damn, I'm not acting like a child like that. So, uh, I'm already winning. That's crazy. I'm going to get rid of this seven year. This is actually kind of a bad situation I put myself in here. Um, the best I could do is try not to walk into anything too crazy here. I can get rid of the south tile because it's unlikely I'm going to get the other south tile here. This could be bad. Mm, that was almost really bad. Uh, we're, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. I just don't want to walk into a landmine if I can avoid it. There's a lot of so tiles being placed down, which means that they could be ultimately safe to lay into. I'm going to con this. Um, and then we'll get rid of a three here. I do not have a Yaku, so I'm kind of screwed. But I'll keep up the mentality of just trying to not, never mind. You know what? Actually, fair enough. I'm not getting points lost here. Still holding my second place. Good, thanks. Most likely going to switch to my phone again soon and getting some stuff done. Being productive is always good. Very good, very good. 
I definitely did not have a productive day. I mean, I guess unless studying like 30 Yaku specifically for this stream was productive. I don't know if that was, <laughs> I don't know if that was the most productive, but I did, I did catch up on like four or five different television series today as well. <laughs> it was definitely a more lazy productive day, I'd say today, um, than actually getting anything done. But after stream, I'm going to go and do some more productive things. I'll run, I'll run some laundry and stuff like that. And yeah. Also need to record something for YouTube for next week. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this five. I think is the best move to go there. And then depending on what I get now, I'll get rid of the two or a seven maybe. Uh, I will get rid of my two. Dance Gavin, dance, let's go. Yes. Yeah, they're one of my favorites too. I love DGD. They are amazing. This radio, I think, is like based on them. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have a bunch of their songs in it. And then there's gonna be like issues in there and other kind of similar genre. Uh... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna walk into it here. I'm gonna walk into this real good. I could feel it. I could feel the target on my neck. <sighs> that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. Don't look chat. Don't look chat. I'm playing badly now. You know what? It wasn't me. Can't be me. Can't be me. BC! Oh, what's up? It's been forever. What is up how are you doing mama how are you doing it has been uh 97 years i think about about that it's literally been about 97 years i think that's a, i think that's an actual factual numeric and not an over exaggeration either as long as you hi i just saw your online and i squealed i miss you how you do I, I went i wasn't gonna message you the other day but i was like should i i felt like i was gonna be bothering you if i messaged you <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to be like the most annoying motherfucker coming out of nowhere. Like, hi, Pishi, it's been like months. Hi. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain too much today. Now message me whenever. Okay, okay. I'll make sure. I always feel bad, especially when I don't message somebody for a while. It's like that double-edged sword where you're like, if I message them, like I should message them because I haven't spoken to them in a while. But then, like, is it weird that I message them after so long? Are they going to think that I just, like, won something? Or something like that? The reason I crawled out of the waterworks after weeks or months is because I need something or want something from them? And then so then I'm always, like, I always sit there, like, with paralysis. Like, do I do, do, I do it? Do I message them? Do I say, hey, how you doing? I was good. I hope you get what you need done. Yes, absolutely. Get that productivity done. Kanya. I still also got to do, so people want me to do a kind of creepypasta reading stream. I got to do that. I also got to do a, uh, one sec, brain working. Um, I need to do a <laughs> crappy ass doodle stream too, where I just like doodle friends and people. This poor, <laughs> this poor girl over here is going negative right now. Um, I panic so bad and then pussy out. Yeah, I just... I have a bad habit of one thinking I'm annoying or a bother to begin with and then put me in a position where there could be a reason why someone unfavorably believes something and I'm going to actually end up like not doing it even more and then I feel really really bad I feel really really bad um I'm gonna change my character to the edgelord maybe my edgelord powers will bring me luck will unite under the emo powers. I feel that's so bad. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, man. It's like, it's even worse if I know that somebody is going through something because I'm like, do I be, I don't really think I'm that good at being like supportive. Like I can hear you out, but like, I feel like I either just end up like talking too much. And so I'm just like, damn. But uh, it's 
2 a.m. So unfortunately, I can't stay, but I want to hop in and say hi. I appreciate the hop in. I appreciate seeing you again. I will definitely reach out and we could chat it up um, properly <laughs> rather than over, uh, over this. But yes, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good rest. I'm assuming you're going to sleep. I feel like I talk too much, Lamau. Uh, Richie West style. Um, but I personally am a yapper. I'm only really a yapper under two circumstances. And that's you get me on a topic that I really want to talk about or when I'm streaming. I have an amazing streaming. I think, thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Or when I'm streaming, because I'm forcing myself to talk more than I normally talk. Because if I was to... If I was to stream how I normally behave, it would be me sitting here being incredibly reactionary. I would only be saying something when you guys say something. Or with my little commentary, like, oh shit, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Or something like that. That would be it. So I force myself to talk. I feel like I'm the kind of person who never shuts up, so it kind of works. I mean, that's perfect for streaming, for sure. I wish I was innately like that. It, it definitely took a learned skill to get to a point where I can comfortably talk to you guys. That's why, like, in my redeems and stuff, I have those redeems that are like, good girl, good boy, and stuff like that. Because I see one people like this, and then people claim that they like my voice. So, fair enough. Um, so, doing something for you guys, sure. But it also was to shell shock myself because if I could, if I could do something that I'm not comfortable with, usually, like saying, you know, calling some random person on the internet a good boy or good girl or something like that, in a, in a sultry way, you know, then what's so scary about stalking, right? So I kind of like shell shocked myself into being a little bit better at just holding a conversation. Even if it's to the void, because nobody's here, you know. So it's been it's been an acquired skill. I'm gonna get rid of the dragon tile. Um, I am very shy, but I like talking to people. That's fair. It definitely seems very natural. So you do a good job. Well, thank you. I, I call it my rambling at this point. It's just rambling. I just try to fixate on the topic and then just kind of keep going, and then just kind of. Gay, read the room. If someone responds to me, I'll keep going. If no one responds, topic change. Rather than vomiting down somebody's throat of just continuing to talk about something that no one's responsive to and receptive to. More people need to redeem those. Why do they need to redeem them? Why, why do people need to redeem the good boy, good girl stuff? Richie! We'll get rid of this. Let's go. So I need either... A so tile here or a peen tile. Actually, not peen uh, or wind tile. Actions. Can you confirm you have a very nice voice? Oh, I appreciate that. I still don't know how to take that compliment. <laughs> I just grin. I, before streaming, I never had that compliment ever. And it's, I don't think it's necessarily that, like, I'm sure there was somebody who thought it, but it's definitely not as common. For people to compliment people on their voice when you're talking for like face to face unless like you have like an accent that is exotic to them right so like start getting into streaming and people being like oh you have a nice voice it's like i don't know how to mentally compute that i don't know how to mentally compute compliments in general but having a compliment i've never heard my brain just can't i do but i also am direct see oh i wanted i wanted, I wanted to Sumo and or Ron somebody. Hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Actually, no, it's not. Never mind, I lied. I thought she had a different configuration there. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. All last. I was told that a weirdly amount, which gaslit me into streaming. I still don't see it, but you know, I guess people like it. Yeah, I get that. That's exactly me. I don't, I will never perceive my voice as good. I still, to this day, anytime I hear my voice, I cringe. So editing my own videos is always a fun thing. You're trying to find clips and being like, is this funny? I don't know. I'm already annoyed. Um, but like, you know, people seem to like it. That is the one consistent thing that people have said over my streaming time over the past year. So, you know. Kyoko is such a good girl. <laughs> good? <laughs> Mm 
I was not expecting someone to redeem that. I was caught off guard by that, not gonna lie. Uh, two, I need a, f mm, I don't, I like never use Montiles, man, seriously. <laughs> I never use them. Please. I, south, okay. Okay. Getting somewhere. I almost never have Montiles. I don't know why. You need a breather after that. <laughs> So it's even it's even better because like I have also the say anything you want one of course within reason stipulations there I'm not gonna say anything crazy, um, but like you know I have that one too and some people have done some wild shit with that too, because then they could personalize it they could be like uh, uh, uh so and so you're a good girl good boy something else and then it gets spicy then it gets spicy, but yeah, damn I didn't lose though I didn't lose. I lost 0.8 of my MMR, so that's fine. Not like it matters much when I'm in baby tier, but... Okay. Also, that pet emote is really, really cute. Do I follow you? I don't follow you. Let's change that. There we go. There we go. All is right in the universe. I really, right now, I'm craving, like... I want wings. Want some nice, like, boneless wings? Some nice blue cheese or ranch? That sounds really nice right about now. But I can guarantee you there's not a single place open that has, uh, that has options. Of course, of course. I try to pop into people's streams as much as I can. Uh, it is hard. Um, I follow a lot of people. <laughs> Um, but I try to, I try to pop in, even if it's just for like a little bit here and there, if I see them live or whatever. So if I see you live and I'm, I'm vibing, I'll definitely try to pop in, say hi, even if I have to dip out. Not enough people are on this late for me. That's why I'm, I'm really trying to find people who are on like this late because these are my hours. So like, I'm trying to find more people who, you know, I can either do stuff with, or at least that I can raid into or whatever. Because I, I, I work the graveyard shift. I, I live and breathe the night. Nighttime is my favorite time to be active in things. It's the time I'm usually the most awake. Catch me at 10 o'clock in the morning and you're going to get, you're just going to have a grumpy Hifumi. It was all grumbly. Doesn't matter how much I sleep or how well rested I am. If it's before like 1 p.m., I hate you. <laughs> That's just how it is. I'm just, it's horrible. Grumpy Kami, exactly. I'm just, I don't know what it is. I've always been like that. I've always been as a, as a child and everything. Just if it's before, like, at the very least, like 10 or 11 a.m., it is not a good time for me. And I could sleep eight hours, nine hours, 12 hours, two hours, and it's the same. You could wake me up at 3 p.m. after I've slept for two hours, and I can guarantee you I'll be more awake at that time than I would be sleeping eight hours and being woken up at 8 a.m. So, I, I don't know. I'm just not a morning person. Or at least not a morning person to be woken up at the morning. Being actively awake during the morning, that's fine. But the moment that... The... Late morning comes around, I'm going to bed. I can't do either. As in, like, mornings regardless are bad for you? Is that what you mean by that? That's fair. Oh, okay, it wasn't me, though. That was like a, that was like a multi-way gun. Oof, oof, oof. Yikes. Yeah, that was a spicy one. That was very spicy, and I'm glad that was not aimed at me. Also not liking that she has all the north tiles. Uh, we'll get rid of my Mon tile, because I don't use Mon, apparently. Doesn't really feel like sleeping matters. I don't perceive a difference. Yeah, it's just the time of day. I guess just some people are better, better at it. 
better at being morning people. I envy people who can just like wake up at six in the morning and be okay. Um, one of my guardians growing up, she um, she could literally one sec brain working. Uh, she could literally um. Her she, her body clock was insane. She she could know that it's time for her to be up at a given time, and just be up. She could just be like, okay, I have to be at work at seven o'clock. I need to be up at, um, I need to be up at six to get ready. And the clock would like click six, and her eyes would just shoot open. And it, I'm just like, how? how? Like I can, I my body knows when I'm gonna be late to some degree, but it's a roll of the dice as to if I'm waking up like, um, with like an hour to spare, or if I'm waking up with 15 minutes to run out the door, or if I'm waking up 10 minutes late. Like, but I can, I can, I can gauge a time area and be like, holy shit, I need to, I need to be getting ready for something, but I, I cannot by any means have an internal clock to the point that I don't need an alarm. And when I do need an alarm, I need like six alarms because I'm going to turn off the first one. I'm going to turn off the second one. The third one is going to get snoozed. The fourth one's somehow going to get turned off, but not the third one. It's just like, oh man. I need to like edge myself into waking up. I don't know why sleeping is high. I feel like that's something we should have perfected by now. Yeah, right? You would think humanity, after all these evolutions and all of these, uh, all these these struggles, that we would uh, have a patent on uh, sleep, but we do not. Either people can't sleep, can't sleep well, sleep too long, don't benefit from sleep. You know, it's like, come on, man. Where where is the DLC that I could buy to actually have good sleep? So I will buy it tenfold. You could put a premium on that. And I would pay for it. I got multiple alarms that are just different. Waiting for Human 2 to drop. Yeah, I'll download that update the moment it drops. Even if it has bugs. Because my, my update already has bugs. I've tried reinstalling it too. Um, This is an interesting hand. Um, I always felt bad for my roommate in college. Because I deadass had 10 alarms 5 minutes apart. Oh no, you were that person. Please tell me it wasn't the default, like, Apple iPhone alarm either. Because if it was the default Apple iPhone alarm, I'm banning you. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, no. I hear that noise in my dreams from back when I had an iPhone. And that was like the only, the only alarm that I like bothered to have set, and so it was just like six consecutive. <laughs> for like for like an hour, basically. Oh my god! I had someone. I once had someone come into my room, take my phone, and throw it at me. Like even though it was on me already, they grabbed my phone and threw it on me. Like, wake up! I'm tired of hearing this ringtone. <laughs> I was like, okay, fair enough. And then I started putting like songs that I really liked. And then I started to like, I started to because those were my song alarms. I started to hate them. I started to hate those songs because anytime I'd hear those songs come on the radio or come on on my playlist, I would just be like. This is the song that means that I'm not going to enjoy my time. <laughs> it was the worst idea. I, try, I also tried the, um, the like, put your phone across the room thing, where you put your phone on an alarm and you put it across the room so you have to go get your phone. That did not help. I would zombie walk over to it, mute that alarm, and go back to bed. Damn. Ooh, ooh, that's a really oh, that's a really strong hand. But it's split evenly among us, so that kind of just evens out the board. So if that was a if that was a directed hit, that would have been that would have been actually really spicy, but I was a little bit dumbed down by that. My first ever phone alarm was Attack on Titan, then I switched to BTS. I think I think I might have had AOT at one point. The, the typical da -da 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 but that was just because I was so unbelievably loud 
Like it wasn't even that I liked the song because it's a, it's an okay song, but it's not that great. But like the fact that it was so loud and so abrupt, abrupt would jump scare me into waking up. I play noises that actively bother me to wake me up. I also tried that and I started sleeping through alarms. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird too though because like I can wake up from like the smallest thing from people, right? So like if I have a lot of loud alarms, I could potentially sleep through those. But if you come into my room and whisper my name, there's a chance that I just wake up. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like the it's like the uh I my body's expecting the alarm, but it's not expecting an intruder. So I got like fight mode. <laughs> but don't do it too close to me cuz I I have a very very much a like if you do something sudden like that, I very much have a fight or flight response. The martial artist in me kicks in very quickly. If you, if you try to jump scare me while I'm sleeping. Unless you want to be catching hands. Don't do that. Food check. I ate food. What time is it? Uh, well, the, the meal I last had was 12 hours ago. But I have been... Picking and I had different uh, little snacks throughout the day. I probably last ate about three or four hours ago. I had some uh, some nice uh, smoked meat sticks. Uh, four, five, six, eight, nine, four, five, 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 five. We're gonna get rid of the green dragon. Hey, konnichiwa. Hey, konnichiwa. How you doing? I love I love everyone. No, people who redeem that one are usually not even the people who are brand new. <laughs> It's almost always the people who are always here, or here at least enough. And then the newcomers are just like, hi, I'll just talk and chat. Uh, I'm gonna try, uh, uh, more DG, let's go, yes. Uh, I nearly punched people, oh wait, oh sorry, I'm not paying attention. Oh, actually I should have kept the title, ah. Um, I nearly pu uh, punch people who come close to me when they're trying to wake me up. It's not usually for me when you try to wake me up, period. Like, if you come up to me and you, like, nicely, like, nudge me, thank you for the snack. I will actually grab that right after this match. I'll grab those meat sticks that I mentioned. Um, it's not as much that, like, any simulation will make me react that way, but if you do something sudden, like, if you try to, if you just, like, slam your hands on me or something like that, or you say my name, like, loudly, suddenly, I, I will, I will try to kill you. <laughs> Of like, if there's one fear I have in this world, it's someone breaking into my house. So if you were going to do that, not wise. I'll never, uh, jump scaring me in general is a hit or miss. Either you're going to do absolutely nothing, I'm going to look at you like you're an idiot, or I'm going to react like, like, violently, I guess, for the better lack of the word. Like, I, <laughs> I'll never forget back in high school, my friend, I was walking home late from school. I stayed after late and it was like winter, so it was getting dark at like, or five o'clock right so i'm walking home at like six it's pitch black there's barely any red lights on the way I'm, I'm running i'm like jogging home my friend thought it would be funny to wait for me knowing that's the way i take home and be like in like a bush and he came out and tried to jump scare me i proceeded to hit him right in the throat and flipped him on the concrete he learned very quickly never to do that again let's put it that way I was so apologetic, I felt bad, but I was also like, man, you, 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 what, what did you think was going to happen with that? Like, what, what, what did you think was going to come out of randomly jumping somebody in the middle of the night? My first reaction is to cuddle someone who tries to wake me up. Oh, that's so wholesome. Why are all my tiles so tiles? <laughs> I mean, I could go for the all face one, but like, what the fuck? Um... I slept through a fire drill in my dorms in college. I slept through a fire alarm at my grandparents' 50th re wedding renewal. The venue was on fire, and I was sleeping upstairs, and some dude, I have no idea who the fuck he was, came up and woke me up and got me out of there. But I slept through the alarm and the smoke. Um, I actually did not remember that until you said that. Um, and go to is knock on the door, uh, open it, knock on the door, open it slightly, call out their name, no answer, I cut the lights on, till I get, till I get, um, an answer, and then I cut it off and leave it to them. Slept through an earthquake when I was three. I, I think I've slept through an earthquake, too. 
environmental anomalies like that do not wake me up, but people related environmental anomalies do. That's why I'm so bothered when people decide that they want to come into my room to grab something or whatever, because I'm just like, man, you're going to wake me up. And if you take too long or if you make too much noise, I'm going to be up and then I'm just going to I'm going to hate you for waking me up. Damn, man. Why do I get the big chunk? Why do I get the big chunkies? I want the big chunkies. Nice job, though. That was, that was a good comeback. Yeah, I, I, I've slept through, I think, a tornado, an earthquake, a fire. Uh, gunshots? Granted, that was pretty common at one point. So... It was kind of just like background noise. Uh, <laughs> problematic, sure, but it was. Um, and then I've just slept in weird situations. I've slept standing up. I've slept hanging upside down. I've slept on like every type of floor you can imagine. Gunshots as your white noise. Yeah, for real. For a bit there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. There was one time I slept through uh, my in my neighborhood at one point. There was a um, a person who was trying to shoot at somebody specifically on a bike. I remember this. They're trying to shoot somebody, somebody on the bike. They missed. The bullet went through the wall of somebody's house and hit a woman in the head. While she was sleeping. She lived, mind you, but that happened. And that was, I slept through that. But yeah, and then I was afraid of, <laughs> I was afraid of my walls for like a, like a good week. I was like, oh no, oh no, God no. Just a random stray ass bullet going into my head while I sleep. I was like, okay, man. That is, that is a fear I never needed awakened. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, damn. Run. Oh my god. That was wild. Never happened again, mind you, in my neighborhood after that point. But yippee! That was, that was something that I woke up to. Because I woke up and there was like, Police canvassing the area, and I was like, what is happening? I was like, that was insane. Um, get rid of the red dragon tile. I think that's the most wild thing that I probably slept through, just because of the, the circumstances of what happened, how that went down and everything. Interesting me being in your walls hasn't woke you up. I mean, I'm used to things being in my walls, in my closet, under my bed, in the same bed with me, you know. I literally remember having a sleep paralysis once. At least I hope it was sleep paralysis. But um, I was, um, I quote unquote, woke up, right? And there was a thing that just crawled up the bottom of my bed like think of the think of the thing in like pan's labyrinth right the dude with the eyes in his hand like that kind of lanky ass like white pale motherfucker just crawling up the bottom of my bed and then it like crawled over me and i could feel every indentation of its hands pressing into the bed around me and i could even feel its breath on me and then it just kind of like leaned in towards my face and started screaming and then I woke up. That was that was a, that was an event. That was that was an event. It was absolutely insane. That was the weirdest bout of sleep paralysis I think I've ever had. It was insane. Like I've seen shadow figures and like weird eyes in the dark or something, you know, whatever. But that one was wild. I think I sat there laying there staring at my ceiling for a good like 35 minutes after that happened. Just like contemplating if it was worth even like moving. <laughs> um, thankfully, I just sleep like a rock. I usually sleep like a rock. But then there's times when, you know, hell breaks loose, you know. Uh, 
I'll read that message in a second. Man, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I've not been paying attention to this game one bit. Um, We need a stream where you just tell us sleep paralysis stories. Man, I have a lot. I have ones that I thought were sleep paralysis, and then they actually happened. Like, I was, I was paralyzed. Don't get me wrong. I was sleep paralyzed. But I was actually just watching things happen that were seemingly paranormal. I've actually told one of them, I think. I think it was near Halloween. I think I told one of them. That was crazy. That was crazy. I woke up and absolutely punched the shit out of the room. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. That's, that's low-key really funny. Not gonna lie. I cannot say I've, uh, I've done that. I've definitely rammed my head into my wall before or into my bedpost. That's happened. That's a fun way to wake up. Where you're trying to get away from something in your dream and then you just like do something in real life and then you hurt yourself. Remember one of the things I had talked about was um, when I was telling little, little fun, little creepy stories was I had a dream within a dream and um, the my, I, I'm very lucid with my dreams. Everything's usually pretty tangible and realistic and I'm very like detail oriented because I have an eidetic memory. And so like it, it, it's like I, I literally had like my room down to where where I had last placed my shoes that previous night kind of detail, right? Um, and I woke up and there was, I had like a closet that had like open, there was no doors on it. It was just like kind of like an indentation in the wall. And then I had like shelves and stuff in there. And I woke up and I could smell coffee, um, that my, my parents were making. I could feel the sunlight on my face. My brain then materialized that sunlight as how the light would usually cast into my room, especially based on how I was feeling it. And I woke up and I thought I was awake and I couldn't move. I kind of freaked out a little bit and I looked at the edge of my bed and from the closet, some thing like ran at me. Um, and mind you, that was the second time in a row that that happened. Cause before that I had like a nightmare of like, um, that was during the night though, in the dream anyways, uh, of a, um, of that same exact thing, chasing me up the staircase of my, of my basement and me tripping. And then it got me right. Um, so twice that same night, I had that same dream of that thing. The first time just happened to be during the night and that one happened to be during the day. Um, and then I woke up again and I thought I, w I wasn't sure if I was awake or not. And I think it took like two or two, about two times, I think, before I actually was actually awake. Can I remember my dreams? So no matter how I try, if I didn't have nightmares once in a while, I would assume I don't dream at all. Yeah, I, I remember most things in a lot of detail which is a blessing and a curse <laughs> i have the short-term memory of an absolute i don't even know what would have a short-term memory a squirrel i guess it, like if you tell me to remember 39625 in five minutes i'm probably not going to remember that sequence even if i said you're going 39265 for the next three minutes but i can wow she had all of the norths um but I can sit here and I can tell you in detail a conversation I had back and forth with somebody two years ago. I can sit here and tell you that it was like 3.23 p.m. They, I said this, they said this, I said this, their dog barked, they said this. It's just weird. It's really, really weird. Um, let me get rid of this. I can't remember half my day. Yeah, I have like, like my memory seems to kick in like after like a 24 hour period. It seems like everything in my brain kind of sticks in. Like the moment I get to sit there and process my day while I'm sleeping, I'll remember it. Like I, my people used to hate arguing with me. Not that it would add any credibility to my claims because like I could just be making bullshit up, right? But like I would sit there and I would just basically like recite the conversation. And then usually people would just be like, Okay, yeah, fuck you. Like, fuck you for remembering that. I was like, oh, well, you thought you were going to talk yourself out of that? I was like, nah, man, I remember that conversation. We ain't doing this. We, 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 we ain't playing this, man. We, uh, we ain't playing this game, man. I'm like, if you want to have a contest of uh, who remembers that conversation right now, I'm going to win. I need a... I have two potential wins here, which there's one of them.
Yeah, that's not a lot of points, but it's points. It is indeed points, nonetheless. Um, can I have that? I mean, yeah, sure. If I can have like half of that memory as short term memory, I'd love that because I feel I find short term memory is a lot more practical than long term memory. Me telling you what happened a week ago isn't going to do too much for me. The only thing that the long term memory thing really helped with was school. Because I didn't study, I just remembered it. So like that was the only thing that it really helped me with was being able to just remember those details and not having to waste my time studying. Not waste my time, that's not the correct word. You should study if you need to study, but it wasn't a concern if I didn't get around to studying or deciding to study. Which always, you know, rubbed people a certain way because people knew I did that. Uh, I got a store and can't remember what I needed, that kind of stuff. I mean, I probably wouldn't remember what I, <laughs> I needed. Or No, no, no. I would remember what I needed. I'd get an ADHD moment and I'd get distracted and then not get the thing that I needed. That's actually what would happen. That's the reality, is I would go there being like, I need eggs, I need milk, I need bacon, I need sugar, I need whatever, and then I'd get there and I'd be like, ooh, pizza, ooh, fresh strawberries, ooh, <laughs> and not actually, and then, and then I would miss an item because I would get too focused on other details. That's my downside. I think that's the biggest thing, reason my short-term memory is so ass, is less that I have a bad short-term memory and more that I have a bad attention span. And so even if I am really hyper focused on doing something correctly, it doesn't it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna schizo off into something else. So yeah, I don't know. Uh see my family has this weird thing. If we dream of something three times, it happens exactly like the dream down to the last detail. And I'm telling you, me and my siblings have shared dreams. I've shared dreams with people too. I've also had full conversations with people in my dreams. And then go, I go to like school or work or something the next day and that conversation happens and I'm just like, and they're just like, uh, and I'll like finish their sentence and they're just like, how did you know I was going to say that? And I'm just like, I have no clue, dude. I have no clue. I don't know how to explain anything. It's just, it's just a, it is how it is. Which also always scares me because if something horrifying happens in my dream, I'm like, please don't be the one instance where this is real, <laughs> where this is going to become tangible. <laughs> Preferably not, please like a big pass on the horrific nightmare feel that I have in my head sometimes. Oh yeah, we're back at DGD again. I was like, why are you jamming? <laughs> the, uh, the mind is a power and myst powerful and mysterious thing. Yeah, absolutely. It is, it is insane. Um, I just wish mine didn't have angry and depressive voices as frequently as it does. And then I'd be good. I could rule the world. But, unfortunately, my brain broke a lot of the time. Unfortunately. My brain is, like, so empty all the time. I make mine empty so often. Otherwise, or otherwise the noise gets too loud, you know? I just hone in on the, on the, on the, the me theme. The doot, 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 doot. Do 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 Hey, I got reach you too, buddy. But you don't understand anxiety of that stuff very well. You don't have anxiety? I envy you if that's the case. Oh no, it's me. I'm getting the Yu-Gi-Oh cards to the face. Please don't be too many points. Alright, that's not too bad, but that's still a little bit ouchy. Because it puts me behind her. Actually, puts me behind both of them, so it doesn't matter. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand myself, but I go in circles in my mind trying. No, not really. I just kind of vibe through life. I envy that so much. I have I have anxiety more so might be a bit heavy to say, but more more so related to trauma related things. It's just trying not to walk into things that have happened to me before. And so that ends up creating situations of anxiety. It's less of just irrational anxiety and more nurtured anxiety, I guess. I guess is what you could say. 
because I definitely was not an anxious individual growing up. I did have like image issues and stuff like that and did overthink like ways I'm walking or ways I'm talking or something like that. But I think definitely trauma over life definitely created more instances of that. And now I'm kind of just a victim of that whenever certain things happen because I don't want to walk into the same situations, even if it's completely irrational that that it would happen. Like even if it's like the, no way in hell that would happen again, I still don't want to walk into that position again. I'm paranoid I have no control over my own mind. That's, I don't know if that's ever something I've thought of. I mean, I guess in a way I don't. <laughs> I'm I'm literally I'm literally bipolar and have anxiety. Like I, I guess technically I don't have control over my own mind. <laughs> to be fair. Like you're in the matrix or something. Oh, okay, that kind of that kind of afraid of it. I've heard of that before. I've heard of No 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 no. <laughs> I knew she was about to rob me. No. Uh that's okay. Big pain. Yep, yep, yep. I'm out of the, I'm out of the race. I'm out of the race there. You fix my hair. Holy crap. My hair is such a mess, man. Such a mess. Thank you for the socials, Crystal. Um Uh, let's see. Uh why well, I lost a lot of MR for that. Um, I'm afraid of myself. Yeah, I don't understand much about myself. Anxiety about something, and it'll piss me off, and I'll, like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyways, and then I, like, see nothing bad happen. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, both times, so many. What a, yeah, she really, she really does. She really does. She really, she really, you know what? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the, 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 the cheat here. Every time I play a, a female character, I win. So let's let's see, let's see if we female character. She had three Urodoa, both. Yeah, yes, yes. Why? I like. I'm so insulted by that, man. So so rude, man. Yeah, me mental mental shit is crazy. I, I I I have a minor in psychology, and I still just. I still don't understand, man. Human, human brain is crazy. And there's so many factors that determine behaviors, too. Like, there's, there's so many factors. Because, you know, your environment influences it. Your decisions influence it. You know, the situations you're placed in by other people decide it. Chemical imbalances. Physical health can also play into it, too. If you have, you know, situations of, like, high blood pressure and things like that, you're more likely to also develop things like anxiety and vice versa. You know, it's like... It's such a complex thing because we the, the, the human mind is so impressive, but it is also so fickle. Um, and that's why it's very unfortunate that in so many places, there is not proper treatment and precautions taken for people with certain mental health issues. If I leave a stream running, I'll dream of a person I was watching. That's fair. I've done that too. I'll hear like, I'll have like a dream where like I'm, I'm listening, like I'm, I'll go to sleep to like a Markiplier video and I'll dream that I'm watching the Markiplier video and it's like the weirdest thing. I'm like, all right, man. But that, that's that's pretty common. And it, dreaming of things that you're hearing, you know, it's just your brain trying to establish a connection, a visual connection to the external stimuli. So that's actually a very common phenomenon. Your brain always wants to kind of place itself in a situation of perceiving whatever it's like, like visually perceiving whatever you're re like receiving otherwise. So if you are smelling coffee it's more likely you're going to dream of coffee if you're feeling sunlight on you it's more likely you're going to be dreaming during the day if you are you know or maybe that you're on fire if it's a nightmare i guess and how sensitive you are to sunlight i suppose uh i mean i'm not smart so i didn't get that anxiety resistance i mean i don't know if intelligence decides the anxiety resistance stat i wish it did I don't know, Phil. I think you're super smart. Probably just less confident uh, than not smart. Uh, confidence is another another bitch too. 
like usually we are just uh usually we are just driving or in a coffee shop and it's like one of those midwestern emo movies even though i'm from the south <laughs> it's fucking funny oh you both are sweet oh yeah we also hit seven uh, over 750 oh nice round baby I kind of forgot I was playing for half a second because I was just look looking at this cute little compliments back and forth there. I think, honestly, when it comes to a lot of things, common sense, intelligence, all that kind of stuff, I think a big thing is also just being self-aware. So whether you guys, you know, believe that you are or are not something i think the fact that you are able to distinguish that that is something that you can like work on and perceive is a step in the right direction because i think it's better to be aware of any shortcomings and aware of your strengths um even if it's just your own perception than it is to be completely ignorant to it and end up coming off as arrogant or actually dumb <laughs> Having the ability to self-reflect and being able to understand a situation is something that, unfortunately, most people do not have to begin with. Uh, you don't have to be book smart to be smart. Absolutely not. I will become big brain in all the knowledge, yes. That's an emote I need right there. I need just me with like my brain pulsating. Uh, use brain intelligence, but not confident in your own abilities. Don't go too far, and you get the anxiety debuff. Yeah, it's a really bad debuff. It's not a debuff you want. That is an issue with me. I overthink everything for better or worse, and that leads to anxious situations. I'm not pessimistic and I'm not optimistic. I'm just realistic, I guess. And so if a situation seems unfavorable, then I'm going to perceive it as unfavorable, regardless if um, it's probable that it becomes unfavorable, if that makes sense. Just mystic. <laughs> yes, exactly. You see it. I'm just mystic. <laughs> Yeah, I've just, I, I've been in all, all pots of that. I've been an optimist, I've been a pessimist, and neither works out. I, either I'm an optimist, and I'm either an optimist, and I get myself hurt more because I'm perceiving things as so great, and then when the minor inconvenience happens or everything falls apart, it hurts more. Or I've been a pessimist, and I've just basically talked myself into the mentality of worthlessness and all that stuff. So, like, I just, I've learned to just kind of, see what is happening and adapt to what's happening and that's just about as much as it's going to be i'm an autobot yes i am absolutely i'm you know i roll out every morning every time i every time i wake up I and then i roll to the bathroom i consider myself pessimistic i mean you know it'd be like that can't really fault anybody for being optimistic or pessimistic. I think a, a big thing is, is regardless if you're optimistic, pessimistic, or realistic with a situation, a big thing to know is just being able to read the scenario as it is when it does happen, I guess. What, when you get into a real trap is when something good happens and you still perceive it as a negative. That's when you're in a loop at that point. I try to be optimistic, but work is wearing me down. Yeah, that'll do it to you too. Exhaustion is a big thing that'll quickly change your mindset. That's why I'm always very, very careful with, I don't know how to word it, like thinking too much, I guess, when I know I'm in a high stress situation or the opposite, that I'm in a very good situation, right? Because it's very easy to be in a good situation. Oh, you just, you won $200. You 
started a new romantic relationship, you got the game you wanted, you are absolutely owning at it, right? And then you feel really good about yourself. And it's very easy to also then get into a, uh, like an optimistic mindset and then getting overzealous, yeah. And then you get really excited about it and then it all comes crumbling down and you fall harder than it was. And I'm a, I'm a big person with that. I definitely, I get, I get, I get, I start feeling myself and then momentum stops or completely falls. And then I, I fall harder than I was risen up in the first place. And so I got to always keep kind of like myself in check with that. Otherwise I will come to regret that. 10 hour shift when I'm standing, standing for the whole shift. Pointed if I sit still or not or anything is taking the pressure off my feet. I do this. Yeah, that'll be up. Yep, that'll. Yeah, that's not that's not fun. I used to I used to do that. Um, I used to work um, in warehouses, and so I would work a twelve hour shift, ten ten to twelve hour shift, um, on my feet. We weren't allowed to sit while we were active on the floor, and um. I was supposed to work four days, but being in management, that could become five or six. And that's, that's not easy. And you definitely need your breaks. So if you ever get the opportunity for a vacation or anything like that, definitely take it. Take the time you need, even if it's just an extended weekend. And I got eight ads. So I'll return in a minute. Eight ads? I am sorry, guys. I am actively sorry. That is horrible. I wish I could just like not run ads, but if I turn off ads and they're just going to run ads anyways, and I'm not going to get the AdSense for it. So I got Turbo, luckily. I recently got Turbo and that has been godsend. Just because, you know, I want to sub and support all my friends, but that's not feasibly possible. So it's at least nice that I can watch as many people as possible uninterrupted. Eight ads. Everybody's in eight ads. It helps a lot with discovering peeps. It does. It does. Especially if they do happen to have a pretty daunting amount of ads. I put mine somewhere in the middle range of like trying to have longer ad breaks just because I figure, I know me personally, I'd rather have longer ad breaks and have less breaks. I'd rather watch the streamer uninterrupted for 50, 60 minutes than be like ad, one minute ad, one minute ad, one minute ad every 10 minutes. That bothers me. What about five hours? <laughs> Everybody in the everyone in specifically ate ads and thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if my model breaks from me sipping. Hmm. Didn't look that bad. I'm also running out of water. I'm talking a lot. Rip. I've been doing a thing. I do the three uh, minutes every hour, and I just go to a BRB stream until they are done, so peeps don't miss the gameplay. It depends on what I'm doing. Like, I can't pause this, right? I can't pause Hunt or whatever, but if I'm playing, like, an RPG or something, I'll try to wait around and try to see. At the very least, try not to get up to too much. I'll watch them all because they help with engagement or some shit. On seven or eight, oh god. Welcome back from the ads. Apparently ad eight said fuck you. Oh, I mean, you know what? Free free ad skip then. Mm, how are you how are you doing? Are you good? Me? Am I am I good? Is that what the question's about? Two, three, three, five, eight. Uh, I don't need the dragon tile. Yes, you do. You need a break. Uh, I think I'm good. I might need to go throw like a pizza in the oven at some point. Since normally I'd end now, but everybody's been so attentive and raiding and all that stuff. I'm just like kind of vibing. It's always really reinvigorating when people end up raiding in and, and chatting and stuff. Like, I was going to end at four hours, and here we are, so. It was just back-to-back -back raids and everybody being so supportive and absolute sweethearts, so I'm here. I'm just checking in. I appreciate that, Crystal. 
I appreciate you. <laughs> this like pizza sounds good. Yeah, I got like a I got like pepperoni pizzas, I think, in the freezer. I don't think I have any more of the four cheese, but I, I have pepperoni. Uh it's what I'm around for. Yeah, that's 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 my streams, is vibes, man. I'm not a I'm not a super high energy streamer. I'm not somebody who's gonna be, oh my god, guys, pog, did you see that guys? Did you see that I play? Like that's crazy. <laughs> like that's that's not my that's not my energy. No, no offense to anybody who is, of course. But I I would come off so disingenuous if I genuinely tried to be like that. I would definitely be it sound as fake as that did. That half ass acting I did. Plus, I'd be exhausted. I'd be exhausted like 30 minutes into the stream if I was like that, man. I'd be 30 minutes in, I'd be like, all right, man. Deuces. We have a 40 minute stream, guys. Goodbye. I feel me gonna start his e boy phase soon. Aren't I already in that? <laughs> I feel like, I'm already in the e boy phase. I'm already called an e boy. I might as well put that in my tags. <laughs> Uh, mine's Tombstone. What's your favorite? Mm. So like, I guess Tombstone. I guess it's pretty good. I don't know. I think it depends. It depends. I think on what I'm trying to have. Like, I think there's like a good like pepperoni one, and a good like cheese one, and a good like other like sausage one or whatever. DiGiorno has some good goaded stuff. The stuffed crust for DiGiorno is really good. The Totino's, the Fumigata. Oh, yeah, I read right about it already. I once upon a time at a social event tried being like that. It is truly draining. Yeah, I, I am a energy matcher usually. So my default, my default me. So like, let's just imagine you're sitting in the same room with me right now. I'm going to be incredibly quiet. Not because I'm shy or anything. I'm just going to be quiet. Um... If you get me on a topic that I want to talk about, like a, my favorite anime or game or something like that, I can ramble. But for the most part, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be comfortable with the idea of us just sitting there watching something and not even talking. Like that's the kind of energy that I am. But I can definitely go to a party with some people and I could be the life of the party easily. But do not expect to talk to me for like two days. If I, if I go to a party and I get fucked up and I hang out with everybody and we're having a grand time... I'm not talking. Don't expect me to respond to the phone the next day because it's not happening. My social battery is gone. It's dead, and I'm not going to talk for a little bit. Super anxious over the top for no reason and begging for likes and cries and money and shit is what I consider e boy girl. Oh, I mean, anxiously over the top e boy. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Is that, is, is, would that be what e boy is? I feel like people have different definitions for e-boy. Some people just go off of the aesthetic. And then other people go off of the behaviors. Girl, I'm honestly the same way, except I'm super shy. I think I read that, but yes. Yeah, it's just... I'm... I don't know if I would quantify myself as... shy. I don't think I'm shy. I'm a very forward person. I can talk about any topic. People can ask me anything. I'm pretty much an open book. But... I'm more so, I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to, I don't want to initiate a conversation that puts you in a position of discomfort and or makes you feel obligated to participating in the conversation. I'm definitely... I'm definitely more femboy than e-boy. I mean, we all love femboys, so I mean, saying. <laughs> I think I have femboy in my tags, I think. <laughs> definitely once my model is a, is a thing, it's definitely going to be somewhere treading the line between both, for sure, from how it's looking right now, I'm just saying. Uh, I've also been up for like 20 hours, so don't mind. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. I've technically been up for that long, I guess. I slept for like, two, like I had like a nap, but I haven't slept properly. Uh, my worst nightmare is upsetting people. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. I get that. 
any stream because it was recommended off my femboid. It was recommended off of femboid. That is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. That is like the best thing that could have happened. <laughs> to be recommended. Period. First off, and then also off of the femboy tag in particular. That's actually crazy. Also, didn't know how many people were actually using that tag to begin with. Work has my body hurting like crazy, so yeah. Oh, so you can't sleep because you're of the pain, the discomfort. I'm scared of upsetting people without them telling me. Yeah, that's that's the big thing, right? I am always the kind of person. The one thing you don't have to worry about with me is I am. <laughs> This might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your personality, people. But I am very blunt. I will just tell you how it is. I, I do not believe in wasting your time or my time. So if you want to ask me or, for an opinion, I will give you the opinion. I will deliver it nicely. I'm not going to sit there and be like an absolute asshole to you. I'm not going to be like, well, you fucking suck, right? But like, I'll word it in a way that's nice. But I'm going to tell you exactly... <laughs> what what i'm thinking what my perspective is especially if you ask for it so that has either gotten me friends over the years or the opposite because i just um i don't know it's just uh, what what are you going to gain from me lying to you about it and if it's something that is tangibly able to be unraveled you're just going to find out eventually that i was lying and what what's the point that now we're going to be arguing because i was lying i tell you how it is, man. If someone upsets me, I'll just completely go silent and tell them if they ask. Yeah, I, I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. I'll, I'll give myself time to stew, right? I usually try to gauge if I'm actually upset, because that's not the kind of thing I do, like a, like a self-check, right? Like, if we're, if we're arguing or something, or you say something that offends me, I'll take a step back, I'll kind of eat my feelings for a second, I'll see if I actually kind of, like, should be upset about that. And then if I should, then I'm going to go on your ass. Oh, they came back. They disconnected and came back. Get rid of this wind tile. Uh, here, let's hang around. I'm trying to find... Yeah. There's a moon, but I can't tell people I'm uncomfortable, but I'm afraid of... Yeah. No, I completely get that. Reading people upsets me. I feel it, the need to ask. I usually ask if I'm upsetting someone also unreliable sometimes oh that's gonna actually might hurt a little bit yeah that's a little that's a little that's a little, little spicy there um my theory of playing a female character and winning is not it's not happening right now um yeah I, that's a bad habit of mine is definitely like i don't know if it's a bad habit but i haven't upset you right like that kind of question right like or I thought I thought you were upset with me. That kind of stuff. Yeah, I do that. And then they're like, "No, no, I'm not." And I'm just like, "But like, but like, are you lying to me? <laughs> are you actually upset? And you're just telling me this? God damn." I also don't want people thinking that like I'm trying to get something out of them. That's why like it's always so hard for me. Like even like okay in the in the realm of streaming, right? I have some friends that are like really big. I'm not a big streamer, by any means. But I have friends who have hundreds of viewers, right? And I always feel so weird even just trying to have a conversation with them because I sit there just thinking to myself, like, do they think that I'm just in their DMs because I'm trying to mooch, that I'm trying to get some kind of collab, that I'm trying to get some kind of situation like that? And it's like, I can guarantee you nine times out of ten they're not even remotely thinking that. But my brain will go there. And it's like, damn. I don't want anyone to know I'm a streamer. Yeah, I, I don't know. I keep my world separate. Anyone who's in the VTubing world knows, like, and I know, and I, when I, I, I interact with them. You know, we all, it's, it's mutual reality. But those people do not know who I am outside of it. Not a single person that I've met, even my closest VTuber friends, know who I am outside of this. Um, and no one really outside of it looking inward either. Like, I have, like, three online identities. Me as an actual, like, human being, me as a VTuber, and then me as, like, my hobbies, I guess. And they're all different accounts, different emails, different everything. I exist in, like, three different bodies because I just don't want the overlap. And it's not that, like, 
it's not even like the world would end if people found out if everyone laced together everything and found out everything about me i wouldn't be like oh no my world is over but like it'd be like damn like there 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 goes the there goes the mask at that point i guess uh sorry i'm like multitasking uh i definitely think people overthink that as small streamers yeah i i'm bad with that if people do think that way then they aren't really good friends anyways you know what that actually valid absolutely valid um a debate is separating accounts i'm scared of family finding out i think it's my biggest fear yeah I'm in the I'm in the lucky front of I don't talk to my family, so they are the least of my concerns. However, if they found out, then that would mean a lot of them are not internet savvy. They'd probably use my real name and dox me and like ah and then then is the whole thing. So Yeah. It's it's one of those things that I, I, I keep separate. I mean like I even have like separate email addresses for everything. Like all Hifumi related stuff, I have my own emails. I, I I have three emails for Hifumi. I have one that is public that you can see on my account down below if for business inquiries and stuff. That exists. I have an account that is for my logins and I have an account that is for just kind of like subscribing to the assets that I need and things that I need. Um that way if any of them are ever compromised, they're not all like not all facets of everything are compromised and different information is stored in different places. And then I have like my professional email for external me. And then I have like three junk emails, I think, for just like signing up the things and games and all that stuff. So I keep everything very separate. I even have two phones. One of them isn't active right now because I'm not currently like working, so I don't need the work phone. But I don't even like giving my work my personal number because then that gives them an invitation to call me on my days off. And fuck you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, tell people before I'll tell people before I hang or anything that if I'm upset, tell me because I'm dense as fucking won't realize. That's fair. That is a very valid uh precaution, I guess. I'm in the closet with my family, but yeah, I've cut them mostly off as well. I mean, sucks. Friends are better. Absolutely. Friends are the family you choose, I think, is always going to be the best for you, even if the family you choose is your biological family. Just, I think the people you choose to surround yourself with will always be of more value than the people you're forced to be around. And my family is just toxic. In more ways than I can count, so I usually keep them at arm's length. I only really talk to my mom and my brother, and even then it's like sparingly luckily my family would just be like that's weird but you do you my my family would just gossip about it and not do anything else usually i will always say that like my like the closest people in my life are definitely not related by blood why i'm already losing stop kicking me while i'm down that's only like 1k but like damn i got bullied this game granted i was paying like the least attention out of any match of this game but still holy crap my family is toxic i mean i literally have an abusive parent and I, I guess the other one is kind of too mentally i guess never really thought about it but yeah and then everyone else in my family is just so schismed and in fighting with each other all the time that it's not worth maintaining any relationships because it's all just like high school drama defensive mahjong is so hard yeah yeah i'm not paying attention enough to not totally walk into a landmine that is literally like you could be a stripper working the pole, and as long as you're happy and making a living, I don't give a fuck. I mean, that's a, that's a nice thing. That's definitely not how my family is. There's definitely very, very real expectations and very big judgments. 
I think my mom, if I if I ever got to a point with streaming that I was making decent money off of it, I think no matter how weird my mom would perceive this as being, being like an anime boy on the internet doing weird shit and calling people good boys and girls, I think she would be like, hey, it's making you money, like, fuck it. But at the same time, she still would critique me about it being weird. My dad would be like, fuck you, but at the same time, fuck my dad. <laughs> And anyone else in my family, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what they think, and I wouldn't really care what they think, because their opinions do not matter to me. But if I ever streamed and my family found out, they'd be up my ass asking if they could watch. Oh, boy. I mean, that's great that they'd be supportive, but... Damn. The idea of how sussy and crazy fucking streaming gets sometimes, or how stupid you look sometimes, and then the idea of your family watching you for that... Just my real life friends who watch me stream now and again, I'm always kind of like, mm, I don't know, man. I love that you want to support me, homie, but uh, I'm kind of cringe. Just so you know, I'm kind of cringe. Just so you know. And like, I don't want to be like showing you how even more cringe I am. So you know. I don't know. My mother supports me in my streaming career. That is awesome. If they knew they would either brag about me or make fun of me. Yeah, that's... that's that sounds about family valid right there. That sounds pretty standard family va uh, valid. Other half would like disown me. Yeah, no, for real. Like, Let me cringe in peace. <laughs> let me rewatch my own VODs and be like... Yikes. Because, like, I, I, I go and um, I upload my VODs to YouTube. And so, like, I watch usually a chunk of it, see if there's anything I need to cut out or anything, if it's just a really long, like, BRB or something like that. And so usually I end up, like, hearing at least, like, 15, 20 minutes of myself, and I'm just like, yikes, yikes. I don't like my voice. I don't like the way I talk. I don't like my sense of humor. I can make myself laugh in the moment, but when I hear it a second time, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Was that really that funny? I don't know. When I upload it as a YouTube short, it certainly doesn't get received well, like as as good as it could. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not funny. I don't know. I think I'm just cringe or crazy, and people are just like, huh, "Look at that lunatic!" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm crazy. I'm quirky. Hi guys, I'm quirky. I'm, I'm not like you. I'm not like the other girls." Um, being around my family upsets when I still owe them some kind of relationship. Yeah. Damn, that match went by. I, didn't, I, don't, even, I don't even know where I was this whole match. Like, I don't know. Who, who am I? Am I playing Mahjong still? Short form content is wild. Algo is dumb. I don't think it's ever you. I mean, it's true. And, and, the, and the trends go by so quickly that you can miss it. Like, you literally, there could be a trend right now. Right now. Go upload this trend right now. And then by, like, 5 p.m. tonight. Mm-mm. Gone. You miss your chance. You're, you're being force fed out to somewhere like somewhere else, or not being pushed out at all. I think I think the biggest thing with me is is my personality. The thing about my personality is, is for the most part, the best parts of my stream I think are either when I'm rambling on a topic and people are contributing, or like something weird happens in a game. But the thing is, is that like a lot of the times. To enjoy that segment or appreciate something of that kind, you need to watch like 30 to 60 seconds of that to get the whole picture and the context and then the payoff. But that's not what short form content is. You want that person to be hit with a punch right when they come in, dragged across the room and thrown out in five seconds. Like, and unfortunately, I'm not the like, wow, crazy, haha, one liner person. So when that shit happens, it's just it's just it's not really. It's rare. It's really rare. Like my most popular, I think, short, I got like, I don't know, like 5k views or something like that, which in the grand scheme of things is nothing, but um, it is my most successful video technically. Um, it's just me walking around the corner in exit eight and just kind of being like, oh shit, like something's there, pausing, staring at it for a second, and then just going, okay, and then walking away. Because that is something that happens in like 15 seconds, right? It's like quick, like, oh shit, jump scare right away. Me just being like, what the fuck? And then walking away. I'll upload the most random clip and get 5k views. 
And then my next 10 will have like less than 50. Exactly. Or I'll blow up on Insta and get shadow banned on TikTok with the same clip. Yep. Okay. Yep. The shadow banning is real. That's real. You're real for that. Oh my God. That's crazy. Okay. This, this, this girl's not working out. She's not working out. Let me do one thing real quick, chat. I'm going to check my Discord real quick. And working on a really big piece, so it's taking all my. Sorry, my artist friend who does the artwork for my emotes just reached out to me saying they might be ready for the remaining emotes soon. Um, oh yeah, there's a Discord. Speaking of Discord, thank you, Crystal. If you guys want to join and hang out in the community and whatnot, it's been actually kind of picking up in activity recently, so it's nice to see people hanging out and chatting and whatnot. I'm going to try to hang out more in the Discord as well, so if you guys want to hang out, talk, play Dead by Daylight, Hunt Showdown, Mahjong Soul, whatever, uh, watch some horror movies, or whatever, we can do that. I got 20k views and it was a random Roblox clip, clip straight from the to YouTube is how it did and yeah it's it's very yeah it's I am a brand manager professionally I'm a brand manager my job is to manipulate algorithms manipulate consumer psychology get the most likes get the most positive public relations I never apply any of that to my fucking streaming because that's just exhausting to treat this like an actual job when it's not paying like a job um but like i'll do little tests and pulls here and there man and even then it's so inconsistent at least in the form of short form content longer form content is a little bit easier to manipulate short form content is just it's just uh, it's different audiences plus what you upload to tiktok will not be necessarily as successful for youtube so yeah it's just it's very it's very rocky and inconsistent my most popular clip ever so i, I back before streaming i had a youtube channel where i uploaded um just I just uploaded random bullshit to YouTube, right? I had a bunch of very highly edited, highly technical videos that I made, right? 50, 100 views here and there or whatever, right? I took a stream clip from one time that I was streaming raiding with a group of friends. That clip, that 35, 40 second clip, got 250,000 views on YouTube. And this is before shorts too. So this is just like a normal YouTube upload. And that clip got that many views. And I was on one hand elated that a video had popped off that much, got me some subs, got me some residual views on other things. But I was also incredibly insulted at the same time because it was just a raw, unedited clip from a stream that I uploaded that blew up. But then... The things I worked 13, 14, 18 hours on get 10 views. So it was like this kind of like bittersweet thing of like, awesome, something blew up, but also it wasn't even like anything quote unquote good. I mean, obviously it was good. People liked it, but like not in my eyes, like it, it devalued the stuff that I put work into. So I don't know. Ah, one sec. Ah, one sec. I just moved my chair and my headphones got caught and I got like pulled into Jupiter. Okay, I'm good. Holy shit. But yeah, it's just, um, it's just, um, unfortunate when shit like that happens. Because it's always bittersweet. You want the stuff you put your blood, sweat, and tears into to be the successful things, and sometimes it's the things that aren't. I mean, look at, um, what's his name? Pirate Software, I believe his name is. Homie was doing content in general, but what made him pop off was clips of him talking about his employment history. Not, not anything he put work into, just that. That's what blew him up, was him talking about employment history. Come on, man. Like, even though it's interesting... And it's a, it's a topical thing that he was talking about. It's just like, 
I'm sure that is like I'm sure that is like kind of like a, a slightly bittersweet kind of existence just to kind of be like wow that's what really kind of did it I don't know man um like I, I don't know but at, at this point like anything that would help this grow and help this become something like sustainable oops I did not mean to hit that screen I meant to hit this screen uh-huh I I would be okay with um Personally, I just kind of want to get to a point where this is something that I can at least consider like a part-time job. Because like, you know, that would be nice. Because then at the very least, I could juggle like a part-time job on the side, you know, and kind of juggle both or, you know, go from there. Because I would really love for this to go full-time, but the reality of like it all is, you know, incredibly wibbly wobbly and inconsistent. So. Nah, I guess employment. Yeah, right? Remix games. Yeah, employment, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I clicked, I clicked, the, clicked the thing in the background. We got anime boy talking. Has there not been game audio this entire time? Have I had the browser audio muted this entire time? No, it was not intentional. <laughs> so I muted it because I was messing around. So I had it unmuted. I started stream, right? I started stream. I then um, was messing with the settings and so like of the game. And so I muted, I, I muted the, the audio input for it. Um, while I was messing with it and still on the starting soon screen, so you guys didn't hear me going cling cling, clicking that and whatever. <laughs> and I guess I never unmuted it. Granted, it would have been really quiet. It would have been beneath my voice and it would have been beneath the music. Um, so it wouldn't have really been too much of a different experience for you guys, but this is getting uploaded to YouTube. So they're not gonna have the music because it's copywritten and it's, it's split audio. And they're just going to have me talking and occasionally the sound effects of like the follows or people redeeming things. <laughs> so I was trying to keep the audio going so at least there's something tangible in the VOD. But um, you know what? I, I don't really care because nobody really watches those VODs. So like whatever. But at the same time, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Add your own sound effects. Yeah, I'm just going to have like I'm going to go back through the the uh, five hour VOD, five and a half hour VOD, and I'm just going to go like every time something happens, Richie! <laughs> Richie. <laughs> just just do, replace all the audio effects. Just do all the voice acting myself. That would be way better anyways. Add a random pipe balling sound effect in there. Yeah, just be like, wake up. Wake up, guys. Oh my god. Way, way too funny. Oh my god. I'm, I'm not even upset about it. I'm more just astonished that, like, I'm surprised nobody said anything. But, like, yeah, I guess if you guys thought it was <laughs> intentional, I didn't notice because, like, when I'm on my, like, when I'm on this screen here, like, I leave my odd. Why am I zooming like that? Um, I leave my audio things down, like I go down to the bottom so I can see my mic levels and make sure I'm not peaking too much, as well as the audio for Spotify, which is at the bottom of my thing. But when I clicked over to the just chatting screen, it literally, um, it literally like snapped back to the top and I saw that the browser audio was actually like marked off. And I, I think I might have seen that at some point, but I'm used to playing games, right? And my game audio is usually unmuted and my browser audio is usually muted, right? It's the opposite. And so I think I saw that it was muted at one point and I was like, that's perfectly normal, right? But I was trying to capture the browser audio. Oh man, that is, that is, that is. You know what, VOD people, if you watch this whole VOD of the near silence besides my rambling, you are an absolute god. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, in any case, though, I can feel my throat actually hurting a little bit. 
So I've been talking a lot. So I think I'm going to wrap it up before I'm not able to stream on Friday <laughs> from not being able to talk. Um, do you guys want to raid into horror or survival game? Or that's kind of about it. That's kind of about it. Horror, survival game. Do we have a preference? I don't even know if you guys are going to stick around with the people I raid into, but I have someone that I would w want to raid into with the horror and someone that I would want to raid into with um survival game. Either is fine. Thank you for the stream. No, of course. Thank you for hanging with me. You guys don't understand how much it means to me for you guys to just chill around and talk and hang out with my, my dumb ass who didn't have the audio on full time. Uh, horror scares me, but I want to get used to them because I want to play them. I mean, if you ever want to play a horror game, let me know. I am immune to horror games. I just enjoy playing them. So if you ever want to play anything from an actually scary game or Phasmo or Demonologist or whatever, I own all of those. So you like hanging? You like hanging out with me? Oh, I appreciate it. You guys are... You guys have been... Probably one of the only consistently good things over the past year. So, your support, your time, all that has been... There's no words for how unfathomably, like, amazing that's been. Um, well... How about... We go somewhere down the middle, then. How about survival and horror? Does that sound good? It's kind of loosely horror. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna raid the ever so powerful Meriwether, who is playing some Pacific Drive, which has kind of got like a eldritchy kind of horror survival aspect to it. We're gonna we're gonna go see see this uh this animal animal lad um drive around and try not to get sucked up by portals and stuff. Who loves Pacific Drive? Well, let's go then. <laughs> I thank you everybody for the follows. Again, if you want to follow on any any social media or anything like that, my Instagram's dead, by the way, but I'll, I'll get active with that after debut, I promise. Um, feel free to join in any of the socials. I'm active on all of them, and you can talk with me over on Discord. We'll have nice movie nights and all that kind of stuff, and um, I'll keep that going forward. Um, I appreciate you guys again. Feels so lame. Always saying thank you and I appreciate you, but it is just simply how it is, and I will find a way to uh, do better in the future. All right, thank you guys.